welcome everyone to this week's episode of uh, Mega Dawn, our Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks campaign. Uh, when we left the intrepid crew, crew, posse, no, wrong game. Uh, in, in, in intrepid crew last time, um, there were people dying all over the uh, the money spider, which is the ship they're on, uh, down to the fact that there is one crew member left being the chief engineer and second in command and you guys uh and you just beaten up a robot up on deck uh, which deck was it it was deck 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 i can't remember deck one deck one and we yeah, didn't beat it right. up we just uh tried to cut the pair battery and um it did not like that yes didn't like that at all did it so yeah um, so what do you guys want to do? Roll for initiative. Oh, we are at that point, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, roll we for ended off and you were like, okay, it turns around and it's going to attack you. Yep. So let's get some, let's get some initiative, right, guys, please. <laughs> Look at that. Bad programming. What do you mean bad programming? It's not supposed to attack. So go with the oh. first one. Forgot that bar was just a one click, not a two click. That's cool. So 12 for Cerise. Pardon me, sorry. 12 for Cerise. Vokes on an 11. Docs on a 14. Babs is on a 6. 6. 6 for Babs. Jazz is on a 14. And Cat's on a 10. And the bot, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, nope, that's not the bot. That's the bot. And we better back. We better make the bot evil as well. Okay. So, uh, you were closest, weren't you, Cerise? Trying to pull the battery up. So, the bot swings and misses with one of its arms, uh, but collects you with the other one for uh, 14, sorry, 16 points of impact damage. All right. Uh, and you're up, Jazz and Doc. I, we'll do Jazz first because alphabetically he's earlier. All right, so I am assuming that uh, we've already taken the panel off and tried to disable it, right? Yeah, you tried to flip the switch, it didn't work. Uh, interesting well then uh i guess jazz there's a lot of people in melee so he's probably getting out his sonic sword and okay. not firing a 10 seu blast into melee Aww. Uh, <laughs> why not <laughs> okay is that what you okay your turn is ready doc what about yourself i'm gonna delay until the end of the round Okay. Whoops, that was Jazz Exchange. Hang on. What am I doing? So I'm not quite sure where I'm at in terms of disconnecting the power battery, if I've got the power panel off or what have you. Um, yeah, you, yeah, it would have had to, otherwise the, the robot would, have, wouldn't, would not have reacted the way it did. So I'm not sure how long how long do I think it's going to take me to pull a battery, um, a sever battery cable. Well, if you got it, sorry, hang on. Have you got anything to sever the battery cable with? Or sacks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, 
I, I think you're going to be hitting, hitting the robot before you hit the, hit the robot casing before you hit the uh, the, the cable. Um, it's going to take you uh, several rounds to, to um, it's not like flipping a switch. It's, you know, you've got to unbolt it and pull it off and, you know, that type of thing. So I don't know what you want to do about that. So instead, I, I'm going to drop trying to disable it and uh, uh, attack with the force, force axe. Okay, you're going to swing at it. Go for your life. Don't think that's a hit. Nope. End your turn, please. Nope. Uh, is there room in melee? Well, as far as I was aware, it was only um, it was only Cerise in melee at the moment, as far as I was aware. Okay, I'll try to get behind it. No, it's against the wall, remember? Oh, right, yeah, yep, yep. Uh... Well, no, Sri's the only one with robotics. Yeah, I'll um, I'll go up and join the stabbing. What are you stabbing with? Sonic sword. Okay, well that's a hit. And thirty points of sonic damage. And your turn when you're ready. Cat, are you going to shoot someone with a ten blast on his butt? Yeah. No. <laughs> Aww. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit back, aren't I? So I'll just. Yeah, you yeah. were. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. I mean, you can certainly get in the melee if you wanted. Yeah, but you would, but you, you would be the last one able to do that. Ah, yeah. Well, I'll leave that to Jazz then. Okay. Um, if that's the case, uh, I will look out for any other killer robots. Where are we? Ah, uh, deck one. In room M1. Ah, oh, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Because um, it's, I mean, and they're two meters square, so it's not very big, remember? It's only a, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that L3 room off L3, to the side? L3. Oh, that's um, lift. Ah, yep, yeah, that's the lift that we went up to. Yeah, that's level three of the yep. lift. Yep. Um, yep, okay. Yeah. Uh, sure, alpha lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, alpha lift them for money spider. Yep. Uh, yeah, she'll keep an eye just on the because uh, that's a ladder behind us, right? It is, but the door is the, the hatch is closed. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, she'll she'll sort of yeah just linger around there and make sure nobody pops out. Okay, cool. Bad. All right, so we got Boke and Cerise on the robot. Yep. And, and Jazz is moving towards it. I believe so. Then one more Dralocyte will get in the way. So I will move behind Jazz in case somebody needs to back out. I can step in. Okay. Yep. Good. Makes sense. Per good tactics. Yep. Excellent. Doc, what about you? Well, it's kind of tight quarters here. I'm a little bit unsure exactly where I am, so I think I'll just... Uh, well, I, no one screamed out for in pain or anything, so... <laughs> no, no, not yet. Um, I guess yeah, we're done. Yeah, fair enough. Well, um, in, in terms of being in tight quarters, I mean, as I said, it's, what, six metres by eight at, at, at 10 if you count the corridor leading down to the... leading to the west. To the west. So it's not a very big... It's not a very big space. That's, you know... Um, six meters by eight meters or six yards by eight yards same thing basically so you can basically be anywhere you like effectively because you can move around yeah so um, i'll end your turn and, and initiatives please people that's better babu that's better when i rolled just once yeah I think I got the same number last time. It was just spread over two dice. <laughs> and 16, no, it's 11. Is that, that's an 11 of you, isn't it, Cat? Yep. Yeah, now I, I just got slightly, hang on, let me just gonna shrink that a bit, pull it across so I can actually see that. There we go, that's better. I can actually see the numbers now. I'm really missing, I'm really missing that screen you're going to bring down to me too. <laughs> 
How's that going, by the way? All good? Oh, the business, yeah, it's going really well. Excellent. Babu, you're up first. You want to hold? Yes, I'll hold. Jay, you're up. All right, he'll take a swing. Swing, bada bada bada. Okay, that's a hit. And the damage. 22 points of damage. So the robot's definitely wounded um, and continues to attack Cerise, striking once, twice, striking twice, no, striking once for 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, Kat, you're up. Alright, uh, there's no room in melee, so she'll probably just hold and keep watching the, the hatch. All right. Cool. Cherise. Cherise. Sorry, I was working on updating my health. Oh, okay. Oh, almost a crit. Well, partial strength of crit. Uh, which is a force, 28 points for the force act. Okay, the robot's not looking very healthy at all. Yeah, I'm uh, right. making myself Holding. a small target. Yep, fair enough. Voke. Uh, smack it. Yeah, you managed to smack it. Uh, and the robot uh, is destroyed. Yay. No more bot. Um, Babu, you were holding? Uh, for what? I don't know. But you were holding. I think we're good now, for the moment. Uh, uh, anyone need first aid? Knowing the order? I do. What's an eye? Yeah, multi-eye. You're a bug, remember? Oh, I guess Boo needs a little bit of healing, too. Okay, I guess uh, Cerise is first, then. So, first aid yeah, for Cerise. down 13. And yeah, what did you take the damage from, Babs? Do you remember? Oh, don't. And the second one's for Babs. No, 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 don't. Hold. Um, I don't Too think late. you can, I don't, I don't think you can do Babs. I think he's, Babs has already been first aided. That's why he's still on 13 points. He hasn't been hit recently. Uh, I thought I did get something we took first aid and that brought me up to this point. That's what I mean. And you, so you, yes, you've already had oh, first aid on your injury. Okay. Can't do it again. You've got, you need surgery to bring it up, to bring up the rest of it. And you haven't opted for that yet. You can opt for it now if you want. So can for Cerise's surgery. I believe Cerise is not on full either. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm at, I'm down six. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we took we took damage from. Was it the poison gas? Yes, probably. Yeah. Because yeah. I noticed that I'm seven points down as well. Yeah. Well, I know, I know, I know. I everybody got first aid. Two mouthfuls. Yeah, I think you did. Anyway, so, um, what do you want to What do you want to do, people? Oh, and can you give me a um, half intuition, half logic check, please, Cat? Right. You better come over to the private room. User left your channel. So does anybody remember where what we were headed towards? Were we going to the other shuttle? Uh, I think we were turning off all the robots so they wouldn't murder us. That sounds like something we do. Yeah. Uh, why were we going to the other? Uh, there was something here. I don't maybe, know. What. Maybe we were just starting at the top. Maybe we were just starting at the top uh, to clear. Yeah, I don't think the life pod has uh, anything to do with it. 
and we definitely don't want to go in it. Why wouldn't we want to go in it? Do you want to get ejected into space and not be able to come back? I think, wasn't there a terminal up here that we needed to use or something? There's no terminal here. Well, there's Terminal 11, but that's an EV. I don't know if we need that one. Um, actually, Dane, can you give me a, can you give me a, um, um, a half logic, half intuition check as well, but I'm going to put a penalty on yours. All right. And what was the search for, Jazz, or was that a mistake? That was cats. Oh, it's cats. Okay, all right. Yeah, can you come over to can you come over to room two, please, Dan? User left your channel. May have been something to do with that User terminal eleven, channel. but don't know. I don't remember exactly why we were there. Oh yeah, that's right. She, um, the chief engineer sent a shutdown command to all the robots, and it registered that it came back true. So we went to go verify that. Verified it, yeah. And so, yeah, that then that sense. happened. User joined your channel. So, um, yeah. So uh, you've got a busted robot in front of you, which I believe was a maintenance spot, wasn't it? That sounds right. Yeah, I want to take a look. At, I'll say it out loud. The the switch should have shut down the robot, but it didn't. Let's. I want to figure out why. All right. Well, that'll be a, that'll be the equivalent of a repair roll, and several minutes. Yeah, I'll let the other guys do something for a few minutes while I take a look at that. Does anyone want to do anything for a few minutes while while um while Cerise is doing is checking out the bot? You guys learned how to be a starship engineer. Ship. In case something comes out. One at a time, please, gentlemen. Babu first. I was going to stand by the elevator shaft in case it comes up. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, and I want to learn how to be a starship yeah. engineer. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> so, yes. Anyone else want to say or do anything? Uh, no, yeah. not if... Um, Cerise is doing the, the robot checking. Okay. Yep. Well, make sure the other rooms are clear. <laughs> well, there aren't any other rooms except for the. Well, there the are. There's, the, there's the, 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 the lift lobby and the corridor between it, but that you, you've been through those, yeah. haven't you? Um, so, um, Cerise, um, the, uh, it's not. Oh, it's not wired so much as uh, as um, data paths on circuit boards. Yeah. Um, um, oh, so and sorry, go on. So it's it's just a it's just a switch that can be reprogrammed. No, 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 no. Um, it's a, it, it's um, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to the point I'm trying to get across. Is it's not a bunch of wires per se. Um, it's more so, it, it's more high tech solid state than that, as such. Okay. Okay. Uh, but no, the switch is not the switch is not programmable, or at least it wasn't. Um, and it'd be very it'd be incredibly an incredibly difficult job to reprogram the switch to do something else. Uh, now, what you do spot though is is that one of the one of the tracks on one of the boards has got um, some um, some sort of um, scarring or or carbonization or something on it, and it's actually bridging and shorting out across um, uh, to one of the other one of the other track lines. So perhaps there's some sort of uh, conductive growth on parts. Uh, of it could be boards. something you don't know what it is, but it certainly shouldn't be there normally, whatever it is. Okay. So it looks it looks like if it, if it was a short and let's call it that for the sake of something to call it, um, it was shorted in such a way as it as, as it bypassed the switch. Okay, I'll I'll point it out to Cat and say, yeah, this if this is the crystal growth or whatever it is, 
I think that may be how it's reprogramming boards bypassing circuitry. It's going to impact computers the same way. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Cat doesn't sound very impressed, but that's okay. Nope, well, Cat's gone. Was that cat gone? Yeah, the cat gone. She's probably here. Hang on, let her, let her come back. Let him, let, oh God, I hate when, I had it when you you guys gender swapped. Let him slash her come back. Let it come back. Let them come back. I mean, let she he come Just back. Just wait on Ben. I've been totally on, forgetting ben. that Voke is an it. Yeah, Voke's an it, and so is Babu. Yeah, not. Well, they could be whatever they want. It's true. Yeah, it's we, 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 we <laughs> trilocytes are weird. What day is it? What day of the week? Yeah. User oh. your channel. Uh, did you catch that cat, or because we? I don't know if you heard what was said. And we still can't get cat. See, this is what happens when you use an Apple computer. You shouldn't use Apple computers; they're no good. Oh God, I hate opinion. Apple. It's like oh, ben iTunes loves them. backing up. Ben loves them. Mm. Ben loves them. Personally, I don't. I, I can use Windows or Linux. It doesn't bother me either way. No, this is me or Linux. It's not. Is it? I'm, James is the Mac person. Oh, it's James the Mac. It's, it's, sorry, James Mac. My apologies, Ben. I, I apologize. Did you hear what was said before you? No, you I did. No, I didn't. You want to repeat that, please, um, Dan? If you'd be so kind. Yeah. So uh, Cerise uh, points out the circuit boards to Cat uh, and says, "It looks like the the crystal." The stuff is, is growing and reprogramming the boards, shorting them. Ugh. Yeah, okay. So that's going to be the same thing with the computers. We'll point yeah. it out to the chief engineer, too. See? Oh, yeah, he's with us, too. She. 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 Should, we, sh should we go to the security room and check out the main computer? Like, actually physically inspect? Because there's an access panel in there, isn't there? Is that on this deck? No, no, I think it's a deck below or something. Yeah, I think what we need to do, I, th I think our plan was to come up here and then clear the station, shut down the robots one deck at a time. Well, what we initially did is the chief engineer sent a shutdown command to all robots, and we via went... Via the... Via the robot control program on the robot control maintenance computer, which is in deck five, which is uh, robot maintenance. Robot maintenance. Uh, it's on the main computer, and the main computer is on physically uh, on deck five. Yeah, so we were at along deck... with the life support one. Yeah, we were at deck five, and then we went to deck one to verify with the maintenance bot that was repairing the damage done to the lift from the hard landing yeah uh, that's right. and well it didn't turn off so that's where we ended yeah so what does the yeah. chief engineer think about this that's really weird i've never seen anything like that before What about the um, compound that you guys are uh, collecting? Mining, mining. Um, what about it? It wouldn't do this. Could this? No. Well, what about no. one of the the um, trace elements, trace compounds? Well, the bot. Okay, the bot's never been close enough to the to 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 it never interacted with the um, the biochem the biochemical to start the. the start with um and i can't see how there's nothing here that, I, I can't see how the, it would react this way i mean a chemist could, i mean i mean a chemist could tell you that you're it a chemist be. aren't you cat yeah yeah the chemical makeup of the stuff they're mining would not react with anything in the robot to do this is what cat's opinion is yeah if you remember right the um the robot punctured the canisters of that, of the chemicals they're mining, which was why Please. we had to all wear gas masks. So, so who did that? wasn't that that wasn't this robot. 
No, not this one. Some something else. Some well, mm -hmm. something punctured it. Punctured all the canisters, and it was uh, the punctures went into the canisters. So it was from the outside. So we assume it was a robot or. I, yeah. Well, maybe Babs can can support this, but these incidents show at least awareness and some level of intelligence. Well, that's a bit of a leap, isn't it? Is it? How how many random things that have happened that are not directed towards us stopping us? Right. I mean, all of these are directed against the, you know, the four species, the crew, and obviously, the, you know, for the robots to suddenly attack us when we try to turn it off. Yeah, the temperature seems to be yeah. the issue, right? Well, the temperature is over 35 degrees at the moment. Yeah, so it, it has learned to adapt. Yeah, mm. it's, it's not random that all – you're the last surviving crew member of your, your entire ship and the entire Jetsam platform. It isn't just a string of coincidences. Something is out to get us. Something since before we were here. Hmm. <laughs> As hard as I find it, as, as, as distasteful as I find it, I think you might be right, she says. So what do we do about it? Because we're all in danger. Well, to well, beat it, we have to understand what it is we're going up against first. So we need to find information on it. So first so we have to is, find is it what it is. Yeah, is it domestic or is it international, for lack of a better description? <gasps> well, uh, is it trying to defend itself or defend its children? And by mining it, we're taking away parts of it. Would it become if is it if it's sentient, which just because it shows awareness and intelligence doesn't mean it is. Would returning what's been mined pacify it? Or would we be able to communicate with it? Well, it depends on what type of life form it is, wouldn't it? That's, that's the GM speaking. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm just supposing things. I have no idea how we would do those types of things. Um, well, you could, I mean, if I mean the person, the individual who's had the most interaction so far, really has been Cat. I suppose, if you want to think about it in those terms. Yes. Um. So, what are your thoughts? Well, I mean. It definitely seemed to be trying to disrupt what they were doing on the on the platform. So I don't know. It does yeah, but was that was was that malicious or was it a survival trait? Well, was it just defending itself? Except for the security turrets, it didn't actually go out to harm us. It tried to make us very uncomfortable, but. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, I think of it this way: the at, the atmosphere it was in at the time, uh, yeah, it's it, if it exists at all, and if it is in the atmosphere of Vent Ventru, the atmosphere of Ventru was at several hundred degrees below Celsius. Yeah. So maybe it, maybe it needed the cold to survive. Which is interesting because it's because uh, yeah, yeah obviously heat seemed to affect to affect it on Jetson, right? But heat does not seem to be affecting it here. 
So if Cerise is correct in that it, it has evolved or mutated, if you prefer, uh, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, yeah, interesting. Well, maybe maybe thirty five is not the temperature. Maybe forty five. Well, that's getting up. To, well, that's getting up into into lethal for you guys. You realise? Yep. I don't know if the doc would like you to get, go that high. Yeah. Well, also, didn't we try to um, um, bring the ship that we came in on, like try to separate it from the system? I'm not sure what you mean, mate. Well, I think we tried it. Uh, we tried to kind of decouple it so that if there was uh, some sort of mm, species or something, that we were trying to drive it out of the ship. Yeah, wasn't that? What, didn't you do that down on Jetson? Yeah, when you, uh, yeah, when you I'm, raised the you raised the temperature of the Jetson platform and the shuttle that was hooked up down there to 35 degrees and seemed to clear it all. At least cats, cats seemed to think it was clear. And you done, you did several, you did a couple of weeks once you got done that without anything, any, anything else happening. But remember the sparring robot had an issue before we left here. So money spider could have been infected a long time ago. Could have been. Well, 50 degrees is pretty hot, but I think the human body can withstand it. But the, the issue is for how long. Exactly. Well, I want to pull out one of these circuit boards, one or two of them, so we have some test subjects. Sure, sure. Uh, you've already tried to buy a scan route, uh, Vape. Um, it didn't show, it didn't show anything. Probably because if this thing is uh, it, it, speculation that this thing is not bio, is not carbon bio, you know, biolog biologically based, a bio scheme wouldn't pick it up. It could be non biological life. That's what I'm trying to say. Which is why it affects computer programs or circuit boards or. Uh, yeah, but you did a you 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 scanned a lot of the computers for software glitches and there's nothing you haven't found any here. No, but we haven't physically inspected. We've only checked out code. That's right. Um, so it's probably worthwhile. Um, okay. Uh, but we should pro if we if the plan was to sort of go down deck by deck and deal with the robots first, then we may as well just go do, do that, and then when we get to deck five, I'll make sure I check out the computer. I presume that the chief engineer can let us in? Uh, oh, yeah. To do yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, well, before the systems were reprogrammed. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a whole other issue, isn't it? Yeah. Is there a security robot? There is one on staff, yes. And it's protecting that. Um, it's it, it's normally it's normally stationed in the security room. Yeah. Okay. That'll be fun. Yeah. Um, there is a there is the um, uh, the snowball monitoring computer on deck two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see that. Yeah. We'll. Um, if you if you're going down deck by deck. Yeah. If we yeah, let's go deck by deck and check the computers. And the robots. Yep. Right. I mean, search all the rooms, make sure they're all clear of robots. Okay. Sure. No worries at all. Um, so you're leaving deck one and climbing down the ladder to deck two. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, down on deck two. Um, sorry, just looking for something. Where is it? No, I don't want the sapes. There's no sapes here. And you thought it was the sapes. No, only the Sathar. It's a Sathar right. god. That's what it is. Sathar <laughs> god. Oh dear. 
Um, where am I? I can't find what I'm looking for. There it is. Um, so, um, M6, just so you know, because you said you were searching for decks. Yeah. Um, M6 is a, a Baraloo at Reaper Chain's cabin. She's obviously dead. Um, there's only simple furniture, bed, chairs, table, and of course, there's that terminal is that frosty? Uh, in the corner. That's frosty. Gotcha. Navigator. Um, there are, by the way, this is interesting. There are no traces of uh, any personalization in the cabin in terms of uh, souvenirs, decorations, photos, nothing. Okay. Um, that's just that's just a quick a curse, a quick cursory look. See, um, you moving on? Uh, it's probably a good idea. Like that's a bit strange. Um, Cat might have a bit of a search around. Okay, give us a search round. Local join. Mm. I mean, it's not it's not that unusual considering what she considering what she's like. I mean, she's pretty standoffish. She's one of those. She's probably one of those. She just probably was one of those people. Um, neither of you find anything of interest. Anyone else? No, I'll just ask the chief engineer. Frosty always like this? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Hence, hence, the, hence why we call the Frosty. So, yeah. So, are you moving on or uh, where are you moving on to? That was M five A. That was M. That was M six. M six. Okay. Uh, so, what about, did we go through M four? Uh, yeah, we would have gone through. Oh, you would. You would have had to. We, I'm talking now. You would have had to. M four. Sorry, M four is uh, looks like an administration office. Um, just on the desk there, there are schedules, plans, record keeping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and of course, there's a terminal, the terminal in there, and beside the terminal is a panel with MSM M slash SM written on the panel. Um, guys, just sorry, can we just have a quick five minute break? I need yep. to hit the head. Yep. Cheers. Yep. Maybe star maps or something. So it's because yeah, we probably we have a Astro navigation computer. So my guess is this is it. Cat, do you know what MSM is? Uh, yeah, um, Matt talked about it before. It was like a, a monitoring computer. Oh. So we should open up the computer and see if it's boards or yeah, yeah. frosty. We should maybe try to figure out what causes this carbonization. Like, how does it, I don't know, the chemist or the doc, you know, you figure out and see if there's a way you can prevent it that. Because whatever yeah, it is any... that does it has to have some way to carbonize it, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Because, I mean, either we can go through the entire ship killing all the robots, and then what do we do after we kill all the robots? Yeah, we got to then get to purging it from the computer systems or something. Yeah, I mean, if we scrape it off and it doesn't come back, that's great, but... We need to start taking countermeasures. We need to be proactive instead of reactive. Everyone back? Yep. Yep. Nope. <laughs> yep, that blue's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, uh, terminal, office, computer. 
they wanted and, to uh, pull off the covers on MSM and look at the circuit boards. Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's going to take you a while to go through it all, but basically it's a computer repair role, effectively. Is that a computer skill? Yeah. Or is that a technician skill? No, it's a computer skill. Okay, you do a thorough. Actually, I don't think you, I don't think you made that. This no, unless it's a level one. No, it's not. I think it's a level one. Um, where is it? How many seconds ago? Is that jazz? Or just. No, it is a level one computer. It's only a level one computer, mate. That one? Nice. You're lucky. Very lucky. Um, yeah, there's traces of that. There's traces of that. Whatever it is, there's traces of it there. Do the chemists have any idea how it's forming or how to prevent it from forming? Or can you identify what it is exactly? Do some lab tests. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's you don't know what you don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. It's it's some sort of it's some sort of um. Well, you do know the chemical. It's 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 a very complex. It's a very complex, non-organic non-organic. Uh, compound. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm convinced it's not. <laughs> you're convinced it's not. Yeah. Um, well, with Kaz, with Kaz, uh, you got a, you got a, um, a chemi, a chemi Kaz, don't you? Chemi cat? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're pretty sure. Yeah. It's some sort of, um, I think. It shouldn't be forming naturally. It's not a natural. It's not a naturally forming compound. Whatever it is, yeah. Um, it, it it needs to be. It, it'll need to be uh, manufactured by something. Um, so yeah. Whether it's yeah, but I mean, it, it's pretty. I mean, once you find it, it's pretty easy to clean. It's pretty easy to clean up if you want to clean it up. It's another repair role. Okay. Yeah. It, if you clean it up. The only problem is, if if this is assuming Cerise is correct in to say it's a some sort of life form that's evolved, then how do you stop it from if it's a if it's a virus, computer virus, whatever, how do you stop yeah. it from reinfecting? Mm. I mean, you're gonna have to yeah. trace you're gonna have to trace the entire network. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it. we need to find a countermeasure. We need to find a way to stop this from forming. Well, you'd probably have several hours, yeah, you know, before before so if before it came, became infected. But you'd have to make sure you got rid of all the. You'd have to track. You'd have to track through all the the entire network to 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 find out which which computers are, are hooked up to which computers via um, via what software. Which you've been doing anyway for a lot of it, and just make sure you get every computer and every bot. Either clean it or destroy it. Uh, all this, all the uh, compound on the boards. Is there any patterns, any similarities on where it forms? Like I don't know. Yeah. Oh. The material, mm. the specific material of the board. No. Oh, it's all the same type of stuff. Well, uh, like the wiring. But there's no, the... there's no, there's no, there's there's no discernible pattern yet. Okay, so it doesn't uh, like to form around chips or anything like that. No, it, it, no well, there's no, it well, does, it does, but it, but it, it doesn't it only elsewhere. do that. Yeah, yeah, because there's no pattern yet okay. that you've seen. But um, on this particular computer, uh, give me a second. Um, 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 where is that one? Um, it's the SM computer. Um, well, it had stuff up. I mean, that computer. It had, it had, it had, where it's for, where the, where this stuff is so far. It, it it would affect the running of the computer. Whether that would would show up as a show up as a a, a bug or a or a, um, a change in a change in 
um, func computer functionality or whatever. But it wouldn't show up as a software bug. It'd show up as a hardware error, a hardware issue. Like buffer over, like buffer, uh, causing buffer overruns and things like that, for example. Or rerouting memory, rerouting memory, memory sequences to different memory, um, different memory registers, yep. that type of thing. So, what do you want to do about it? Do you want to leave it or? Uh, well, I mean, while we're here, we may as well clean it off. Um, All right. If, it, if it's not super What's good. No, you can do that. Um, you you do you do that, and I'll and the guys can check out the rest of the deck. How's that sound? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Another so thought you, might be that we perhaps start adding different chemicals or elements to see if there's anything that uh, this alleged life form dislikes, other than temperature changes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, that's why Cerise grabbed the grabbed the circuit boards out of the maintenance spot, wasn't it, Cerise? For those type of experimentations? Yep, exactly. Mm. Okay, so well, you got to go lab. We should start on that as well. Yeah, yeah well, you got to keep... just keep forming, and we have to keep scraping it off. We have to find some way to stop it from forming. So if we have to coat all the boards in some kind of chemical, so be it. Yeah. Well, um... While while Cat's cleaning this off, all right, you know five A, you know M five A is the um, uh, meeting room. Yeah. Yeah, it's the captain's yep. meeting room. Captain's meeting room, yeah, captain's meeting room, and five B is the captain's cabin, which um, uh, the chief engineer, oh, what's her name? I can't remember her name. Um, is um. Uh, Ellen he's currently Cooperman. Ellen Koopman is currently occupying. Thank you. Um, so, you know, the meeting rooms, table, chairs, cameras, microphone, you know. Um, uh, and obviously the cabin, it's just the bed, chairs, table, lockers. Um, and obviously Captain acts as uh, souvenirs as a space pilot and pictures and things like that. And the terminal. Um, so yeah, um, and then obviously M3 is the bridge, um, which is do dominated by the large observation dome in the ceiling, um, and obviously the ch captain's chair under the centre of the dome, and you know the um, various computer term, the two ter two other two other computer terminals there as well, and various information for the navigator and the. Uh, Instruments and the co-pilot's chair and things like that. So yeah, so you are successful, Cat, in cleaning this stuff off. Um, and for want, for want of a better term, you think you've disinfected the comp this computer, as such, of any inverted commas virus. Um, is there anything else you want to do with this computer before you before you move on? Uh. I don't think I've interacted with this. No, you, yeah, yeah. no, you haven't. Um, do I have a login? Actually, no, none of the logins work. Uh, what, what well, this... well, it, they may now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did what does this computer do? Um, this is the snowball snowball monitoring yeah. computer. Ah, okay. Interesting. Um, yeah. So. Um, the terminal right next door um, can connect to this MSM and it also can connect to the MGL. Gotcha. Gotcha. So do you want to connect to either of those? Uh, yeah, I'll connect to the, the SM. Okay. Okay, so the yeah, you uh, in um, the password that that Ellen gives you for this computer works. Nice. So, uh, you want to give me a display info for the software list? That's the normal routine, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's got a it's a level one computer. 
Um, it's got two pieces of software, the uh, a level two computer computer security software, and a level one commerce uh, program. Oh yeah. Uh, and the commerce is taking information from um, a processing program and transport program and also a robot management program. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, so the, uh, actually I'll uh, do another. Is it, uh, do you want to operate or display info for looking at the uh, robotics? Oh, the robot you'll need, in, you'll need an, an interface for that one, mate. Yeah, that's oh, an right. interface computer's role, that one. Because it's on a different computer. Uh, bow -bow. Rip. Um, the only thing you can tell is that the this robot management program um, appears to be a level three program. Okay. Is that weird? Well, Le level three is pretty pretty big. Pretty big, but if you look at the if you look at your notes, which I believe you took on the main the yeah. MN the MN, that was a level four robot management program. Okay, yeah. So it's not that. It's, so whatever whatever wherever this level three robot management software is, it's not on the main system. It's on a different system. Gotcha. Hmm. All right, uh, and I'm alone here. Oh, effectively. Is, yeah, awesome. Because uh, it feels like that commerce program probably uh, has some information that is useful to our secondary <laughs> objective. <laughs> uh, um, you want you want you want you want to you want to you want to do a data dump, do you? Yes, please. <laughs> info, yeah, display info. I'm glad that's um, a, high, a high number. It's a pretty high number. It's pretty good though. It's not a fail, and it's still. It's only a level one program on a level one computer, so you yeah. still made it. Yeah. Um, look, yeah, uh, the commerce program, a, a commerce program, as you should be aware or are aware, um, uh, coordinates uh, various aspects for for commercial points of view. So, in other words, it would it would coordinate with a robot management uh, software and um, or input and output for a factory, um, and sh and scheduling for shipping of goods. That type. That's it's a it's a it's a, it's a coordination program. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which would make sense because it's hooked up to, as I said, some sort of processing software, some sort of transport software, and some sort of robot maintenance pro uh, software. Um, yeah. It's um, also got also some information about um, uh, amount amount of um, uh, uh, stock on hand and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, it's all it's all good information to have. You, you, are you taking a dump for your your secret employer? Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you got room on your? Oh, you'd have room on your um. Yeah, that the, the file yeah. 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 Mm hmm Not a problem. So, what do you want to do? I'm just writing that down so that I got mm -hmm. this in the right format. Uh, at that point, I think I'm pretty good with this system. It's probably catching up with the others. Well, they're 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 on the they're basically on the bridge by now. Yeah. So you, <coughs> so do you, do you tell them what you found, or are you just gonna? Because Ellen is still there. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I would say there's a uh, there's another robot management software on that on that uh, computer. Do you know what that is controlling? What on the uh, on the on the snowball monitoring computer? She says. Yeah. Um. Well, it's probably you're probably talking about the Snowball Dock computer. Oh yeah. Because that's the only thing that 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 the mon that the SMN would connect to in terms of robot management. Because um, all the robot management is done either via the main the main computer or the maintenance computer here down here on the on the ship. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a level three program, so whatever it's controlling is not not trivial. 
Yeah. Now, I, 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 I think I think what you're talking about is the is the loading robots up on the on the snowball dock. Okay. Uh, and I will say that I seem to have cleaned out that computer, and once I cleaned it out, the uh, my logins worked, which is a good sign. Yeah, very good sign. Very good sign. You mean you actually tried anything? using my brand new username and password, or did you just hack in? No, I actually used the password. <laughs> So what do you do, guys? Now uh, we've searched all of deck two. So are we moving down to to deck three? I think so. I don't think they have any kind of lab, do they? Life support accommodation, do do do. If they do, it would be in sick bay on deck five. That's, yeah, that would be a that would be a logical assumption to make. Yes. So uh, is that what you're doing? Are you moving down to deck three? I think so. Well, as you are aware, I'm sure. Um, oh, pardon me. Sorry, I'm burping here. Uh, deck three is the engineering deck. Um, and obviously, um, the engineering deck controls the ship's operate engines. Uh, a lot of panels around the place, and of course, don't forget the terminal. Uh, there's a terminal in there as well. Um, yeah. But uh, there's nowhere to hide in there, there's not, you know. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy and quick to, quick to clear out deck three. Yeah, head on to deck four. Uh, Would the terminals the... themselves be able to have this um, substance on it? Uh, you, I mean, it's possible. Can we check this terminal? Check its board, see if it ha it has it? Can, it's up to you if you want to do it. No, it's clear, mate. You don't find any trace at all. Hmm, okay. I try using my username and password on this terminal, see if it works. Uh, hang on a sec, that terminal logs into... Um, terminal 10, Terminal 10, Terminal 10. Is that right, Terminal 10? Yeah. <laughs> Maintenance, maybe? MT? Uh... Hang on, give me a sec. Because this is nuclear oh, reactors. Um, no, it, it doesn't work. Nope. Okay. It it, it, it only and it, it only logs into the main to the MMM the main computer. Okay. That's why it took me a while to find it. It's off in the off up in the corner of my of my network map. Okay. Um, it only log it only logs into one computer, the main computer, um, and your password does not work. Same as same same as before. Ba bow. Okay. Okay. Deck four then? Yep. Deck four. Okay, give me a second. Deck four, deck four, deck four, deck four, deck four. <laughs> yep, deck four. Um, so uh, you get down to deck four. Uh, deck four um, uh, has um, obviously the panel with the MMMT uh, labelled on it, and there's a terminal in the corner of the room. Um, what do you want? And the work pods, of course, and then the the airlock the M9 airlock into the radiation area where the engines are. Um, so what do you want to do, people? Uh, 
is there normally is there normally a robot around this floor? Um, is is there like a, a engine maintenance ro robot like there was down on Snowball? I'm just gonna. Yeah, I, it's a good question. I'm just I'm just scanning my notes now. <laughs> I'm I'm just concerned of me opening up that computer and getting attacked by robots that are trying to protect their computer weird organism thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is there is normally a there is normally a um uh, uh, an engine maintenance robot if you want to call it that. Um. Um. Right. Uh, normally, but it's not in it's not in room M eight. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go do. I'll go pull the hatch off and just tell people to to keep on the lookout. Okay. Well, is there any is there any of uh, this? Maybe we should th that M eight is is irradiated then. No, M eight's fine. M ten's irradiated. Yeah, the three long it? hallways that lead to the engines. Yeah. And so if we were to leave one of these, I'm going to call it a corrupted board, and then see whether or not this, whatever it is on the board, enjoys being irradiated or not. Well, would the board like to be irradiated? Because I'm just saying, you could potentially damage the computer with the radiation. What are we talking about damaging the computer with the radiation? Well, Doc, w Doc wants to test if we can use radiation to kill it by bringing it to the engine room where there's radiation. Thing is, oh. is I don't know what that kind of radiation will do to the circuitry. Probably not great things. Yeah, that's what no. I'm assuming. <laughs> Computers that go on spaceships need so much radiation hardening. <laughs> yeah, oh, yep, they do. yep, that's right. So, yeah. It's why I was curious. Mm. If we end up breaking one, though, we can definitely do that. Yeah, if we break this computer, that's pretty bad. It, that's very bad if we break this computer. If we break the, <laughs> the other one, the level one one, that's fine. Well, we got the circuit boards from the robot. Yeah, and it's already that. broken. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Somebody who has a in suit might want to take it in there, maybe. I don't know. In the name of science. Uh, just, just, yeah, continue talking. I'm just, just I'm scanning notes while you're talking. I would, I would be very concerned about a pot potentially hostile robot in there. Um, so be careful, but because I I think we can assume that all the robots in this station are going to attack us. <laughs> oh, it's an assumption. Um, and robots that can't be turned off with their off switch yeah. either. Well, I, I, Loke doesn't mind going <laughs> to try. See if the well, I wouldn't contaminate our only sample with radiation first. I took a couple boards. You took a couple yeah, boards? Sure. If you have I'm several sure. samples, we can take one sample and do it. I'm fairly confident that we're going to find another sample. You realize you realize you could do the same experiment down in the sick bay, don't you? Oh. Oh, yeah, true. True. Assuming they have you know, a lab. Well, yeah, assuming they have a lab, and uh, it'd be unusual. It would, wouldn't be. Uh, it'd be unusual for, to not have something like that, but I mean... Radio, I mean, you could, I mean, they surely have an x-ray machine. And you could just crank it up, yeah. And you can crank it up, exactly. That, so if you're worried about getting attacked in the blind, maybe you're better off holding, maybe you're better holding off until you can hit the, um, until you get to the sick bay and, 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 do, and use it there. Wait a second, you're maybe. trying to get us to sick bay. You're trying to make the x-ray oh, machine, for God's sake. like, over crank too much and you're going to irradiate all of us. You're trying to kill all of us, Matt. Of course I am. I'm a GM. It's my job. <laughs> Bloody paranoid players. All right. I'm opening up this panel. Keep no, an get, eye. Yeah, right. go, go for it. I'm just looking for something while you're doing it. Paranoid computer person says, watch that airlock. 
Just for the record, you didn't make it this way. Oh, no, but it certainly helps. Bop, bow. Low. Uh, it's all about not any, breaking you this don't, computer. You don't, find, you don't find any evidence at all of anything like that on this, uh, on the MT computer. Oh, wow. I just got really lucky. You got really lucky. Yeah. This computer's fine. It doesn't even have any stuff on it. Huh. And what does this computer control? The maintenance. The MT computer? You've got that list, you got that list haven't you, Ben? Yeah, it's lots of stuff. Like the nuclear reactors, yeah? No, that's the engineering computer. Which one's the engineering computer? Terminal 10? Uh, yeah, ter one from Terminal 10. Uh, where is it? Well, that would be Back main then, yeah. That would be the main computer, yeah. Uh, the MT computer does damage control, maintenance, and robot management. And computer security. Yeah. Mind you, yeah. Are you, are you going to try and log on to that computer at all? Sure. Well, Terminal 5 is right next door, and it does connect to the MT, MM, the MMT computer. But, bow. Access denied. Well, that's weird. No crystals, but still can't get in. Strange. Well, I, I didn't say they are crystals. Someone else said they are crystals. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Well, we didn't get attacked. That's good. Uh, though, I guess, are we go? do we have to go clear that in the name of robot clearing? Like, Vogue, were you planning to go in there? Uh, yeah, I can take one. Well, now nah, we're we when we go to sick bay, I'll do it. That's the next floor up. Damn. I I feel like getting into melee potential melee in an in suit is not a good thing. Good time. Um, well, it certainly do some damage if you got it ripped. Yeah, if it's yeah. if there's radiation around. But yeah, I think we 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 looked at that door before and it did read like a a low. Sort of radiation. Low like intensity that. radiation. Yeah. yeah, you did. Right, you wouldn't. It's still it and it's still reading that now. Yeah. So yeah. So what's the plan, gentlemen? Uh, well, let's go to sick bay. There's three more computers there, and there's the lab where hopefully we can figure out some more about the substance, while Cat does computer stuff. Sure. Everybody good with that? All right, so we're not going to fully explore deck four. If if you really want to, we can. All right, sure. Let's we'll. we'll uh, I just thought we were trying. I I just thought we were trying to. Uh, actually, I have an in suit too, don't I? Yeah, you and I and Cerise, because we yoinked the one from the dead dude. Um, and then whatever the they have, yeah, the dead computer operator who failed at their job and ended up dying. Boo hoo! I know. You're so cold. <laughs> You're so cold. At least You're they gave so us some so good, good information, you know. Her death wasn't totally in vain, but mm. they did somehow manage to get a tear in their in suit. And went right into a room full with like seven nuclear reactors. Yeah, well. Oh, where the hell is this, buddy? See, he's trying to find the giant death robot to kill us. Yes, I am. But yeah, we'll find whatever yes. in suits they have and we'll go through. All right, hold on a sec. Uh, oh, son of a bitch. Right. Ah, 
Oh, dear, 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 dear. I hate when you remember seeing something and you can't remember where you saw it. Um, let's hit. Um, 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 um. Sorry. Computers. Um, yeah, that's that one. No, it's not what I want. Ah, here's what I'm after. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Sorry, did I miss anything? No, oh, just me muttering to myself. That's because you're an old geezer. That's because I'm an old geezer who's younger than you. Right, so you guys are going. You said you wanted to go into the uh, through the M9 airlock into the um, into the into the M10 area to check for shit. Is that right? Yeah, to check for uh, yeah. robots. All right. So before you get a chance to put your in suits on, because that's what happens, um, the out the inner door of M9 opens. Well, that makes it easy. It does. Um, there is a... Um, now, where was the description of that bloody thing? There it is. Um, there is a simple, upright cylindrical body with a video audio sensor array mounted on the top. Box. Um... And in each of its two mechanical arms, um, it is holding a uh, one foot long by two inch diameter dull lead colored um, baton rod. Uh, it moves, it, it begins to move towards um, uh, uh, you guys. Hmm. What do you want to do? Uh, Cat, can she like quickly uh, check her toxi rad gauge? Is this thing like radiated to heck and we should run away? Um, yeah, it is radiated to heck and since you mentioned it, everybody takes five points of damage. Shit. It burns, it burns, literally. Um, but it is only a maintenance spot. So that's what you're doing, Cat. What are you doing, uh, Cerise, Jazz, Doc, Voke, and Babu? Cerise will say, you don't want to talk about this, and then turn and run away. Advance to the rear, advance to the rear. All right, well, uh, if you look at deck four, all right, you've got basically, it's a U-shaped room, effectively. All right. One wing, one arm of the U contains the computer in Terminal 5. And the other wing contains basically the work pod. Okay? And if you look at the map, the, whoops, oh, the bot is, ba hang on. The bot is basically more or less there, give or take. Yeah, more or less. Oops, sorry. That's right. Uh, I don't and want you my guys... pointer, not yours. <laughs> mm. Anyway, so 
more or less, you know, give or take. I don't know why it's snapping. It shouldn't, the, grid's, the grid's not on, so it shouldn't be snapping, but it appears to be. Anyway, so. That um, always has a grid, even if it's not displayed. Yeah, I know. It's a pain in the ass. That's one of the things I don't like about the new, the, what they've done recently with FG, but that's me. Um, so all of you were in that red circle that was there a minute ago, because we were both. So which arm do you want? Which arm of the U do you want to go down? The the work pod arm or the maintenance or the or the computer arm? If you're retreating, um, Doc. I'm going back the way we came. Uh, up the ladder, or down the ladder? Yep. Well, we're okay. we're, we're descending, right? So I'm going yeah. up the ladder. You're going up the ladder. Okay. You're going up from deck four to deck three. Yes. How long does it take to get into a work pod? Oh, a couple of rounds. You gotta open the door. It's an airlock door, so you gotta open the door. You know, it's got a cycle. It takes two rounds to you know airlocks are like they take they take um a round to cycle or two rounds to cycle. And then you gotta get in and cycle it close. Is it gonna be faster you're... to do that or to go up the ladder? Well, Doc's going up the ladder, so he's gonna say yeah, I mean yeah, you only get one person up the ladder at time at a time. You know, within reason. So what about down the ladder? Uh, down the ladder. Well, no one. No, there's no one. There is no one going down the ladder. So he goes down the ladder. I'll go for uh, the work pod. Uh, hey, you're going for a work pod. All right. Which one? The left hand one or the right hand one? Not that makes a difference to me. Left hand one. All right. And your doc, you're going up to deck three. Yes. Yes. What? What's? What's Babu and Voke and Jazz doing? I dislike radiation, but um, I'm gonna murder you. You're gonna murder me. Okay. I wanna murder it. Okay. You're going to you're going to move to attack it. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll draw my automatic rifle and I'll unleash a burst. It's only it's within two meters, mate. Ah, oh, point blank range. Perfect. And you're shooting bullets inside a spaceship. Yeah. Fine. I'll get I'm just, my I'm four just sacks saying. out. It's probably better to... Like, I don't know if you want to get into melee with this thing. Aren't, uh, aren't we, like, pretty much in melee already? No, oh, close oh, enough to it. By the way, the only person who knows it's, radio it's radioactive is Cat. No one else does. True. What, you mean I don't okay. feel the burn on my skin? Oh, you feel you, you feel the burn on your skin, yeah, but that's yeah, all but you feel. You don't know, you know. You oh. probably realise it was radiation. The others probably maybe don't. <laughs> maybe don't. Anyway, well, if that's the case, Jazz will probably take a ten SCU blast at it. See if he can pick it off. Okay. So, shoot it if you're going to shoot it. I'm just looking, I just gotta find it in his thingy. Bop bow. That's a miss. That is a miss. Wow. That doesn't normally happen with Jazz. <laughs> no, it doesn't, but it did that time. Okay, uh, what about you, Voke, and you, Babu? Smash. Oh, Voke, sorry, I know what Voke's doing. You're gonna try and miss. smash it. Miss. Uh, Babu? I think I'll jump up there with him since my brother is helping with this. Your brother? Okay. Wow. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm staring. Technically, okay. I'm not his brother. I'm his... It. Yeah, there, there is Thanks. no word for for the... Jello, mate. You come from Jello. the same pool of Jello. Oh, it's disgusting. Okay, so you do 34 points of damage to this. Whoopsie daisy. How about this, comrade? Um, yeah, that'll do. Okay. Um, I better get some. Um, I better get some. Um, an issues off you guys, please. Even ladder boy. Uh, yeah, even ladder boy. Could you? I need to know how. I need to know. I'll, I'll, I'll need to work out exactly what's going on where you are in a minute. I don't go first. 
So he vokes on six. Vokes, 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 vokes on six. And the box and Babu's on seven. Wow. Um, and um, Vokes on six, Vokes on seven. Cerise is on five. Uh, Doc's on 11. Okay, that's going to be good for Doc. And Cat's on eight. And 13 for Jazz. 13 for Jazz. And the bot is on. Okay. So, Jazz, you have an action. All right. Uh, has uh, that people have engaged with it now? Have Two they? of them have, yeah. Yeah, balls. The two, okay. two dweller sites. Yep. Always room for a third. <laughs> you both got albedo screens on, right? <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? Yeah. No. no. You might be Not wearing them, but are they turned on? I don't think so. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, I guess he will be holstering his laser rifle. Well, slinging it over your shoulder. Yeah. Doesn't sound like it. Anything yeah, else? But, you know. It, it is true. Would Jazz probably would fire, wouldn't he? Probably. He, right, reckons he's good enough, he reckons he's a good enough shot. A good enough shot. Let's do it then. I, I okay. don't I don't have my, the same confidence, but I'm not jazz. <laughs> oh no, not with the cover. Because <laughs> these guys, yeah, the dot's got partial cover from these guys. So, Voke and Babu, can you each roll me D twenty? High, the highest this one is going to get hit. You know, I really don't feel like rolling this D20. I really <laughs> don't feel like rolling this D20. Uh, was that a 10 Was that a ten dice shot? Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. 10 dice of damage to Voke, please. There you go, Voke. Not quite, a little under what it should have been. It should have been 55 points. Oh, it should have been, yep, yeah, owl. Very owl. Owl, there you go. Uh, so don't forget, if you're more than half damaged, you need to take penalties on your hit rolls and things like that. Oh, yeah, um, I'm not sticking around. I am I am leaving now. Mm. I, yes. You, I, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have you finished, Jazz? Yes. Okay, end your turn, will you please? If I don't die, yeah, radiation. Doc, are, are you, you're, you're, you're trying to climb that ladder pretty quickly, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, like a motivated monkey. I'm up. Hang on. Uh, whoops. Whoops. whoops, 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 whoops. There's, uh, we're on deck four. Uh, and deck three. Yeah. Okay. So you, you make the, you, you, so you are now on deck three in the ladder bay. What are you doing? Are you going to continue on up, or are you going to stay? Or stay there, Dick. Pitt. I'll stay there because I, I'm I'm hearing combat. On the ladder or in the? Well, in the I'm room? not going to block someone if they want to climb the ladder. Right. Okay. So you're stepping. You're just stepping off the ladder. Just off the ladder. Is that right? Yes. Right. Fine. Just as long as I know exactly where you are. Okay, Cat. Um, you've just seen Vogue take a, la a laser blast in the back of the head or back of the back or whatever. Yep. Uh, I will. Uh... Uh, just yell out that uh, that thing is radioactive and be careful um, because I do have that info. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. And that would probably be my turn. Right. Okay. End your turn, will you? At the same time as Cat says, uh, he screams out about the, about the radiation. Um, the bot um, takes a swing at uh, a swing at Babu. And misses, but also takes a swing with his other fist at Voke, and gets Voke. 
Uh, Voke, you take um, seven points of bludgeoning damage. That's not rude. I go into a limp blob. And two points of radiation damage. Still limp. Okay, Vokes collapsed on the floor, obviously. Uh, Babu, you're up. Crush, kill, destroy. Crush, kill, destroy. Um, what's that, an 82? Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Yep, that's... Uh, well, it's not... Yeah. Okay, so you hit. Thought you were going to say, well, he dodges that one. No. Not that mean, dear. Okay, the de the, the robot is the robot is pretty damaged by pretty damaged. Do you reckon it's down around about a quarter, or it's, it's three quarters damaged roughly, give or take? Both you're unconscious. Are you un you're unconscious? Are you? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so in the Cerise, uh, you are you you're making your way over to the uh, pod. You said. Yeah. Well, yeah. As soon as I see both go down, though, I'm gonna turn and go back and attack it. Okay. Can I do that this turn? Yeah, yeah, it's quite, it, it's a pretty close quarter, so it, it, we're talking we're talking a couple of meters, so no problem at all, except the fact you missed. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, that's everybody. Um, before you roll for initiatives, um, everybody in the room yeah, takes uh, another five points of radiation damage. Oh, the doors aren't shut, are they? Well, the bot the bot's actually in room is in front of the in room eight technically. Oh, but the airlock is the airlock door closed. The airlock door is closing. Oh, okay. No, he's ca he's carrying two control rods. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, Doc, you're okay. You don't take any you don't take any uh any radiation damage. Huzzah for retreating. <laughs> no, retreating. So I'll get issues of everybody except for you, Vogue. Um, I'll put you at zero. Um, and at the moment, Doc does not know that Vogue is down. I must yeah, admit. that's what it, that, I, that's what I was going to ask. So, well, you've got no no one said anything or screamed anything out except for radiation. So all you know is his radiation. Yep, that's right. Uh, Ten for Cerise. Got that. Doc's got fifteen. Babu's on thirteen. Babu, Babu's on 13. Um, Cat's on 9. Is that everybody? Two 13s, 15, a 10, and a 9. I end the bot. Right. Okay. So, Doc, you are up first. You can hear, you can hear the sound. You can hear the... Uh, you, you've heard a laser shot. You've heard radiation. You've heard... Um. Yeah, that's about it so far. Okay, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, well, if I can, can I give myself first aid? Yes, of course you can. Okay, that's what I'll do then. Okay, don't get knock off the drugs. Um, Babu and Jazz and the robot all go simultaneously. So we'll do Babu first. That's a hit. No, oh, no, it's a, that's a, that was your medical role. Sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, Babu, well, you, you can go first. Uh, that's a hit. Okay, uh, Jazz, what are you doing? Uh, as well. Yeah, he'll he'll go in and swing. All right. So Babu goes low because he's shorter, <laughs> and Jazz goes high, <laughs> and critically fails. Yeah. That ends up going low. <laughs> um, let's just see what happens, shall we? Jazz is not having a good day. No. No. He's... I mean, he's not having a and good day. And neither is <laughs> Babu, actually, now. True, true to Jazz form. True to Jazz form. Can you, uh, can you roll some damage for Jazz, please? Uh, 23 points of damage, Babu. And yeah, that's Sonic yeah, Sword damage that you can't that. resist. Hey, say again. Babu, what say again? Does the skin suit have? No, it's no, it's no. Sonic. It, it's Sonic, so it, it, you're going to take all of that. Uh, um, and the bot, who also goes at the same instant, 
uh, strikes Jazz with one fist or arm or whatever and doesn't get Babu. Um, so Jazz takes ooh, 20 points of bludgeoning damage and two points of radiation damage. It's 20 points of bludgeoning and two radiation, okay. That's correct. So that's everybody. And Cerise, you are... Now, the robot goes down because, I mean, um, Babu hits it low um, and takes it out. Jazz does an overhead swing, misses the robot and hits Babu. Um, and the robot hits Jazz at the, at the all, all at the same moment. Yeah? If you can see that, picture that in your head. <laughs> so the robot's down. Cerise, what are you doing? Doc. <laughs> I want to... Hang on. Uh, hang on. You, you can't call for Doc yet. <laughs> Throw the two rods. Is the airlock door still closing? No, it's closed. It's now closed. All right. I will uh, go to cycle the airlock door open. So we okay. got to get the rods out of here. Yep. And okay. then I'll, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yep. That's cool. Okay. Um, uh, Kat? Uh... She will, uh, does, um, Vogue, Vogue's like around the dead robot, so probably she'll go up to him and, uh, put a, uh, actually, he's down down, isn't he? Like he's down a, down, yeah. A stim dose wouldn't wake him up, no. Mm, doubt it. Nah. Um, okay, so she'll, she'll walk up to Vogue and try and drag him just out of the radiation and nonsense. Which Okay, yeah, which we're you dragging to? You've got basically three choices. You've got the ladder, which I think is going to be the difficult to manage. You've got the area up near the work pods, and you've got the area down near Terminal 5. Probably near Terminal 5. That looks cool. Like okay, so you're going to drag Joke over, over that way. Okay, yep. sweet. All right. Um, everybody, including Vogue, everybody in the room, uh, again, takes uh, five points of radiation damage. Okay. What's death again? Is that negative 30? Something like that. You're, you're close, are you? Eh. How close, by the way, to Federico? 16. Down 16. Oh, you got, ah, you got another three rounds at five points each. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Unless, you know, Doc comes over, does first aid, and ends up stabbing me for a D10. Yeah, that'll hurt. Um... Look, everybody's everybody's um, eh, eh, um, eh, the robot's down, so I'm going to take you take us out of combat. All right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. So yep. at the moment, which this is what's happening at the moment. Uh, Cerise is cycling the airlock door into M9. Cat uh, has dragged Voke over towards Terminal Five, or in the process of doing that. What is Jazz and Babu and Doc doing? Yep. Babu's hurting, but he'll grab a one or two of the rods to pitch into the through the door as soon as it's open. You gonna do that right now? As soon as it's open. As soon as it's open. All right. But you're staying you're staying where you are at the moment. Yeah. Okay. What about Jazz? Uh, Jazz will uh, apply first aid to because Jazz is a medic. Uh, he applying first aid to Voke is probably what he would do, and yell out for the doc. Okay, so doc, you've heard you've heard the cry for help. Um, you want to give me that that roll, Jazz, please, medical first aid roll. I want to slide down the ladder. Yes, I figured you're going to do something like that. So Reese is going to try and uh, yell out, try not to touch the rods. It would be bad. It would be bad. Okay, so um, Voke, you get ten points back from the first aid, courtesy of Jazz. Don't forget to knock off that... Um, um, it's just one biocourt, right? Yeah, one biocourt, uh, I think. Okay, so um, I'm assuming you're coming down the... You said you're coming down the ladder. Um, yes. Doc? All right. So you come down the ladder. What you see when you... You, you see uh, um, Cerise finishing cycling open the airlock door into M9. Um, Babu is basically next to her. Um, you cannot see Jazz or Voke or Cat at all. 
Um, and at the feet of Babu and Cerise is this robot destroyed and the two metal rods it was holding in its hands. Okay? So, we, what are you doing? Well, Babu's hurt, right? Babu's hurt, yes. Okay, well, he's the only person I can see that appears to be injured. Is that correct? Right. Yes. At this okay, stage, well, yes. that's that's where I'm moving to. Right. Okay, so you're moving that way. All right. So I need um, Cerise and Babu and Doc to all take five points of radiation damage. Even though I just got there? Well, by the time you finish doing this, it'll, it'll count. Okay. Okay. Um, the airlock door is open. What it, Babu, Doc's uh, doing, going to do first aid on you. Are you going to let him or are you going to do something else first? We need to get these rods out of here, so I'm going to push the robot that's still holding the rods through the no, door. No, it's, it's, let, it's, let the, it's let the rods go when it's destroyed. When it was destroyed, it opened, yeah, it's, it's, so, the, the, so the robot, so what are you doing? You, you, so, yeah. Are you pushing the robot into the M9, are you? I think he's not Am I able to push the, rods. the robot and maybe one of the rods? No, like, no, like no, the ro no, you, no, you'll need, you'll need, you'll, no, you'll need two hands or two pods for the robot itself because it's been harshly destroyed, remember? It's in a couple of pieces. Well, I'm just thinking of not touching the rods but trying to get something to push them. Well, yeah, we, well. You have a you force that, which is a stick. Kick them. Okay, so... The way is that things you work, I don't see kicking yeah. them, but... Anyway, so, yeah. sorry, so what are, you, what are you doing? You're kicking a rod or dragging a bot, or what are you doing? Well, like I said, I'd, I'd like to push the rods with the bot. No, you can't. That, like that, a you, bulldozer. Yeah, no, you can't do that. You can't organize. To, you can't organize. You, you you can't organize to do that. So, not without spending an inordinate amount of time man maneuvering and yeah. pushing things around. You can do that if you want. But it's going to take a long. It's going to take several rounds, and therefore several uh, several rounds of yeah, radiation. Yeah, well, because we don't have the rounds, so I'll I'll just pick them up and throw them through the door. What the rods or the robot? The rods. Right. Yeah, pick them up. Right. So, can you give me a dexterity? Can you give me a dexterity check, please? I'm assuming you're trying to do this in a hurry. Okay. So um, you managed to grab one of the rods, but not the other one. Okay? Uh, and, you can th and you throw it into M9. Yes? Yep. All right. You take, you take um, seven points. Oh, hang on. You already took five, didn't you? You take another two points of damage, radiation damage. Okay? Cerise, what are you doing? I'm going to go for the second rod. All right. Well, you can pick that up without any problem because it was only the dexterity. You're trying to grab both. So you're doing that and you're throwing it in M9 as well, are you? Yep. All right. You take an additional two points of radiation damage. Okay. Kay. Now, that's another round. Um, Doc, uh, Baboos uh, makes it difficult for you to do first aid, so I'm going to put a, a, a small, small penalty on it because he's, he's active at the same time. But you give me that first aid roll if you like. Okay. But you are successful. So one by court and you oh. get ten points. Oh, I didn't know you were back there, Doc. And you get ten points of you get ten points of damage back or healing, uh, Babu. Meanwhile, what's Jazz and Cat doing? Good question. Um, I will sing out that uh, Vogue is uh, down and around the corner here. Uh, well, glancing, glancing over your shoulder, um, uh, Doc, you can you can now see Cat, Jazz, and Voke. and Voke is down on the ground. Yeah, and I guess the with Jazz, can he has the airlock already been set to close, or can he do that as his action? Um. Well, as soon as the guys let him, as soon as the guys let let the the, the uh, um. It Lots won't of... close automatically, no. Yeah. So he can go over and and and, cl and, and start closing the airlock, but the, yeah. the the robot is still is still on the M8 side. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. He will go and try and 
grab a piece of the robot and push it through. All right, well, if you give me a quick dex check, I'll tell you how much of the robot you actually grab. Okay, okay. So, so you manage to get all the robot into area M9. Um, you do take um, seven points of uh, radiation damage in the process, yep. uh, but the robot and the rods are both in M9, and you guys can obviously back up, back away from it if you want, and cycle the door. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. So uh, I'm assuming everyone. I'm assuming nobody's in M9. Nope. Babu isn't. <laughs> okay. So. Um, so while that, so uh, Babu and Jazz and Cerise are all on the M8 side of the airlock, but at the airlock door. Um, Cat and Voke are over by Terminal 5. And I'm assuming Doc's going to get me moving out of that way to give first aid at some stage. I do surgery at some stage. Yeah. Yep. And, and do first aid on everybody, because everybody's suffering from radiation burns and radiation sickness. Yeah, triage. Um, yeah, well, the triage, guys. You heard the man. How yeah, much is everybody down? Yeah, Obviously, Vokes down the down the worst. Yeah, well, he's getting the minor surgery, I think. Right, I need major surgery. I need a. We need to take him downstairs. Yeah, I would yeah. probably do first aid to everybody. Yeah, but I don't know. Vokes kind of leaky. Yeah. Well, Vokes has been first aided. He's unconscious, but he's not bleeding out. First, yeah, well, I was thinking minor surgery for Vogue, so that's the priority. You want to do okay? So you're going to do you're going to do minor 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 surgery on Vogue, are you? And you get twenty points back, Vogue. No, he's not here. Knock off an anesthetic and two by a court, please. Um, uh, Doc, when you got a sec. Um, so the tell all the tell all on. Uh, M9, the tell all on the door on M9 um, is reading uh, standard pressure, uh, 25 degrees uh, temperature, uh, standard oxygen, one gravity, and five, and a radiation level of five. And what's normal? Zero. Okay. Do you want to do first aid on the other four guys, Doc? And yep. possibly yourself? Because you took more damage, so you're entitled to first aid yourself again as well, if you want. Okay, Babs is next, assuming he's standing still this time. <laughs> he's standing still. Yeah, I'll stand still. Oh, you, you've had first aid. Oh, yeah. No, that's okay. Okay, so another 10 points back for Babs, and one by a court off your system. Who's next? Uh, both um, Cat and Jazz are probably in major surgery territory. So yeah, first aid first. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, Cat for the first aid. Ten points back. Cool. Cat. And then Jazz. Yep. Yeah, Cerise only needs first aid and, and minor surgery. Luckily enough, Ellen was um, outside the radiation zone, so she's not hurt. Ooh, how lucky is that? Very much. Uh, Doug, you get 20 points back, mate. Yeah, I heard from half the house over. Oh, sorry. No, no, my dad shouted. Oh. I was so getting that's, a drink. Uh, yeah, yeah. So is that everybody first aided now? I believe so. Including yourself? Yes. I gave myself first aid at the top of the uh, ladder. Yeah, but you, took more, but you took more damage when you got down there, remember? Remember? Yep, I'm on the push to talk, so. Yeah, sorry. Um, so you're entitled to a first aid role for yourself if you wish.
And wow, that's a really good one. Good roll. I didn't stab myself. You didn't stab yourself. Well, you did, but only with a where you were supposed to. Um, so Ellen, Ellen, that was. I mean, that's crazy. Um, why would it do that? I mean, they were control rods. Is everybody all right? I am now. No. <laughs> like, listen, lady, how many times do we have to tell you these are not coincidences? Something yeah, okay, is trying to kill us. Yeah, Why else would a robot bring control rods into the room with us? Faulty programming? No, look, I, 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 I yeah, look, you've convinced me, okay? This, we've got to find out what's going on with, with, with all this stuff. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy, crazy stuff. Um, I suppose we better get everybody to sick bay, yeah? Yeah, that's says. where we're going next anyways. Well, so you make your way down to M11 and M13, obviously. Um, yeah. You do, oh, by the way, um, you know the guy you brought up in the freeze field from Jetson? Oh, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, you know he's dead, don't you? Yeah, I couldn't mm -hmm. remember if I yeah. told you or not. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so everybody's in M13, um, getting uh, getting healed up with surgery of some sort. I think the doc might want to know whether you need minor or major surgery. Yeah, I need minor. This cerise needs minor. Uh, okay, yeah. let's do cerise then. Minor surgery is twenty, right? So yeah, minor surgery is twenty. Okay, that's Bab two bio. Babu needs major. Yeah. That's two bio core and, and an anesthetic for. Oh, don't worry about. It. There's plenty of medical supplies here, so don't worry about it because you're not using your field kits. In fact, you could probably restock your field kits if you need to. Hell yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. So you've got you got twenty points back, uh, Cerise. Babu said he needed major. Okay, this one hurt a bit. And Cat and Jazz both are minor, looks like. So you're fully healed, Babu. Okay, Cat's first. Cat was a minor. Uh oh. Uh, Cat, you take 10 points of damage. Jazz? Uh, you get 10 points. Oh, that was, no, uh, that was a minor surgery on. Jazz. Jazz. So I thought he was Jazz. So Jazz gets 20 points back. Cool. He's fully healed. Voke. He needs major. Oh, yeah. And I think and I think Jazz is going to have to treat Cat. Okay. Major surgery then. Uh-oh. Nope, no, we're okay. Not far, yeah. We're okay. It's, it's, you're okay by a point. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, Voke, you're on 20 points. You, you've, you're, you're fully healed. Yep. Um, Jazz, do you want a first aid cat from the doc's blunder? I can do it. No, you Here can't. Uh, so 10 points back uh, to the first aid cat, and Jazz can, and the doc, can, uh, the doc can try surgery again if he wants. Okay. I thought it was going to roll over to a 90 then. Uh, so you get 20 points back on top of that. Yeah, so you should be close to fully healed, yeah, I think. Yeah, fully healed, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, I won't bother you giving you the description of sick bay again. You've, you've already been there. The Recovery couches, nice blood. place. Good well, stuff on the floor. Yeah, a lot of gooey stuff on the floor. Oh uh, dear. Um, where is the. Oh, that's what I need. Uh, hang on a sec. Just give me a split second. Right. Um, by the way, um, if the bot was being short-circuited by this um, entity, Radiation um, I think you'd, work. 
I don't think radiation would have worked. Yeah. I think you've just been mm-hmm. proven that radiation doesn't work. Um, but what this has diff- proven is that radiation hurts yeah. us, so you're going to use the X-ray machine against us. Well, X-ray machines are pretty low power, usually. <laughs> Um, by the way, um, just so uh, just to just to uh, remind people, um, or as such, um, or not even remind people, um, uh, oh, there we go. So while the surgery is going on, um, let me just see. Ellen uh, at one point says to Kat, you know, I just remembered something. I'm waiting for a year. <laughs> Are you there, Kat? Uh, he went AFK, so... Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. He's not there. In that, case, in that case, I'll wait for him. That's why he's not replying to me. That's okay. Uh, wha- so once the healing's done, what's the plan, gentlemen? Um, the plan is to analyze the substance in the medbay labs and for Cat to go check out all three uh, terminals in the strong room. Not terminals, computers. Computers, yep, the computers in the strong room. Mm-hmm. And everybody else will um, chill on recovery couches. Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't we forgetting the security robot that we have to go through, probably, to get to those computers? <laughs> probably. Can you um, can you come with me to the private room, please, Cat? User left your channel. User left your channel. Yeah, I think we see a robot. It shoot first, ask ask question, ask questions later. Yeah, absolutely. You tried to say we're not here to hurt you, but I mean, I know we immediately attacked it, but like. It brought friggin control rods <laughs> there's no time to talk yeah exactly and there's wasn't enough time to get everybody up or down the ladders so um cat and ellen are in, in deep in conversation uh during out the throughout the surgery it takes a couple of hours of surgery and the recovery and that um and then they 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 I don't know whether Cat said anything, but the two of them begin to head out of the of the uh, sick bay during surgeries. Well, after Cat surgery, of course. After Cat's, but, okay. But during the but during the during the surgeries that were going on. Well, because Cat got her surgeries last. No, oh, close to last. Anyway, doesn't matter. Or well, before Cat surgery, then I don't care. Before Cat surgery, okay. Cat wants to go without one of us. So whoever's had surgery already, I don't know if that's Cerise or Jazz, should go with Cat. Okay. So is it, who is it? Is it going to be Jazz? Let's, let's make it Jazz because you've got Jazz, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, it's easy. Ben. Yeah, we'll just yeah. do that. Okay. So the three of the three of them head out. Um, it doesn't matter. They head up to uh, they, you head up to the um, the captain's cabin, and um, search around. I need a quick search roll off the three of you, please, or two of you, and I'll do the third one. Jazz, Jazz, we're searching for a computer manual. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, so um, yeah, you managed to in one of the lockers. You do manage to uh, Cat manages to locate the the system. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Bab- Jazz manages to locate the uh, the manual. It's the ca- it's literally called the Captain's Computer Slash Robot Systems Manual. 
it's quite thick. It's a good one inch or so thick. Um, in it's not paperback size. It's you know manual size, big thick, big thick manual. Um, what are you going to head back to the? Uh, you're going to head back to this to the sick bag. Yeah, yeah. This is something Cherie probably wants to read. Okay. So um, they come back after after ten fifteen minutes carrying a, a thick book, a thick uh, binder, um, and it's got, as I said, Captain's Computer Slash Robot System Manual on it. Um, yeah, what do you want to do? Give it to me. I'd love to read it. <laughs> well, Cat needs to read it too. So who's reading it first? I'm interested uh, in putting a busted uh, piece of equipment into the X-ray machine. I'm really beginning to dislike whatever it is that we're dealing with. Sure, you want to do some do, do some research? Okay, um, so you you, you you you've got some science skills, haven't you, Doc? Yeah, chemistry. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you give me a chemical analysis role. Yeah, cat would read it first. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. Look. Um. It's. Some sort of, as I said, I, I don't, I, I, GM doesn't really need to know the exact chemical makeup of, of this compound. Um, but basically, you get pretty much the same information that, uh, and x rayed it. But as, as you know, you, you it, x rays, it shows up as a, it shows up as you would expect to on an x ray. Um, Microscope. I'm trying to kill it. Well, as I said, you, uh, <laughs> if the robot in the engineering area, um came from a high came from a high radiation uh, came from a high radiation area which it did um the amount of x-rays you can produce in the x-ray machine is not going to be anywhere near as high as what was it, what was it was already exposed to well maybe it was in a panic and trying to escape maybe who knows but how do you know if it's dead or not anyway yeah i mean you don't even know if it's alive Um, Cat. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a full listing of all the uh, computer computer software and what's connected to what. Do you have that information already? I don't think you do, do you? Uh, not. I don't. Probably not the full information. No. Do you want that now? Yeah. I mean, if it's an easy thing to share. Oh, pretty easy. It's verbal. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, the um, um, the maintenance computer. Level four, you've got all that information, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. Computer lockout, drive, astrogation, computer security, communication, language, alarm, bureaucracy, installation security, robot management, and life support? Yep. Okay. The MGL, general computer, you've got that? Yep. Communication, info storage? Mm-hmm. Uh, the MMT maintenance computer, that's computer security, damage control, maintenance, and robot management? Yep. And that's level two computer. You've got the life support, level one life support computer, which is computer security and life support. Yep. You've got the snowball monitoring computer, which is um, computer security and commerce. And robot management? No. No, 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 no. Not on the snowball computer, it doesn't. Son of a bitch. Um, you've got the chemical refining level two computer. With... Uh -huh. A level two computer security, a level four processing software, and a level one life support software. Mm -hmm. You've got the MEV elevator computer, which is a level one computer, which has a level one life support and a level one transport. Oh, by the way, sorry, the, uh, the chemical refining, the MCR chemical refining computer, mm -hmm. computer security was at level two, processing was at level four, life support was at level one, it was level two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got the Snowball Dock computer, which is a level two computer. It's got computer security one, life support one, and robot management three. Yeah. Terminal one connects to um, M. MN mm -hmm. and MGL. Yep. Terminal 2 also connects to MNN and MGL, mm -hmm. as does Terminal 3, yep. as does Terminal 4. 
Mm -hmm. right. Terminal 5 connects to MGL and MMT. Yep. Terminal 6 connects to MLS and MGL. Mm -hmm. Terminal 7 connects to MSM and MGL. Yep. Terminal 8 connects to MCR only. Mm -hmm. Terminal 9 connects to MSV only. Mm -hmm. Terminal 10 connects to MMN only. Yep. Terminal 11 connects to MEV only. Mm -hmm. And Terminal 12, and there are four Terminal 12s, Terminal 12A, B, C, and D all connect to MGL. Yep. Okay. Now, the main computer, yes? Yes. The aggregation software connects to the information storage on MGL. Yep. The bureaucracy program connects to the maintenance computers, damage control, maintenance, and robot management. Mm -hmm. And also the life support computers, life support software. Yep. Okay. And the life support software on MMN connects to the life support software on MLS. Yep. Okay. Um, where else am I going? Um, terminal 5. They're the, they're the only software connections except for the commerce program on, on the Snowball monitoring computer, yep. which connects to the chemical refining and processing, the elevator transport, Mm -hmm. and the uh, robot management on the Snowball dock. Yeah. So there are all your linkages. External linkages. There's plenty of internal linkages, but yeah. that's... You, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the other inter interesting p piece of information mm -hmm. is that... Um, hang on. Where's the queries? Um, is that Buraloo app Revachan, the astrogator, Frosty, yeah, mm. is listed under the ship's robots. That's interesting. Didn't we find a body? An organic? You yeah, you did find a body. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I will. Just mention that out loud. <laughs> 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 that uh, that user joined your channel. The thing that di user died in. Your channel. Oh, it's Thomas. Yeah, so that oh, body that we found. Yeah, I guess we'll wait for Thomas to join. Yeah, just give us a sec. And uh, while you're doing that, I'll just um, I'll release get Thomas. I'll get you to release the character. Or I'll get you know. No, it's not cat. It's That one. There we go. Hang tight. User left your channel. User joined your channel. Uh, he's having, he's having, he, he, he said in, a, in his email they've been having problems with his internet connection, um, dropouts, power blackouts, outages, all sorts of things. It's it's a bit unusual. So let's he's, he's, let's continue on, and he'll, I'll, I'll fill him in when he gets there. You're about to say something, Cat, about robots. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like the Frosty is a robot, and that should give us cause for concern with all these virus thingies happening to robots. Um. Mm. Frosty is a robot. Yeah, apparently. Well, she's listed as I said. She's listed in the in the manual. Um, um, she's a level six anthropomorphic Yazirian, um uh, body type. 
um, apparently she's got um, apparently according to, according to the manual she's got attack defense security lock computer link and astrogation uh, software the astrogation is pretty unusual um, that's not something normally you normally get in a robot um, your channel. and she's actually cybernetic she's part she's partly she's partly um, partly organic Ew. She's and a cybernetic robot. We hey, she how, was are dead? how are you, Thomas? Yeah, you thought she was dead. Well, as far as you're aware, she's dead. You found a Yazirian body up where she supposedly was. Well, yeah, and there wasn't really much left of her body. No, it wasn't. It was pretty well but burnt, burnt beyond recognition, remember? But yeah. you, you, it, was a, it was a Yazirian skull. The doc says it was a Yazirian skull. But the only Yazirian that we haven't seen is the one that took off on the shuttle, right? Everybody else is accounted for. And we know where they are. Dead. Uh, <laughs> except the crew as as that... Except the rescue crew that went missing. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah but they've been gone They've been gone for weeks. Yeah. Now, they've been gone for seven dead. days. They're probably dead. Almost certainly dead. Hmm. And Ellen, Ellen says yes, they definitely went on. Yeah, they definitely. They, I saw them board the shuttle, and the shuttle hasn't returned. So. Yeah. yeah. Well then. Uh, where would a cybernetic robot be hiding on this ship, Ellen? <laughs> Got anywhere? I mean, we all thought she was dead. She could be anywhere, but. Literally, she could be anywhere. I mean, even outside, the, even outside the ship, technically. Assuming, assuming her robot casing would uh, protect her against um, extreme environments. So Frosty's a robot, and that hut. So she was just. So is her consciousness uploaded somewhere else, or was her consciousness in that body, or was the body? Well, what? What's the relationship? Well, she might have. She was a cyborg, so it could have just been her Yazirian body parts that were re, that were we found, not the rest of the robot. I don't know. If, I mean, it's not like we weighed how much was left. Well, it was definitely or definitely an organic skull, Yazirian skull that you found. And other body parts, and all the, and, and there was plenty of bones there. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't just body parts. You found the entire, an entire body. It was just charred beyond recognition. And so the assumption was it was her because it, because it, it was a Yazirian skull, and she was the only Yazirian on board, as far as you're aware. Because yeah. the other Yazirian was the other Yazirian um, fled in the in the sh in the shuttle. Remember? Yeah. Supposedly. Well, we Supposedly. talked to him on the intercom, I believe, and he he just wouldn't. I think he basically, ref or maybe they never got through to him. They never got through to him. Never got through to him. Okay. They uh, they they were receiving signals from him, according to the computer uh, communication software. That might be worth checking out. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is, would that would there be some kind of log of that communication in the communication software? It should be. Okay. It should be. Yeah. Unless it's unless it's been matrix matrix wiped. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got no, you got no. I mean, the only way to find out is to go get onto the MMN and find out, isn't it? Yeah. Where are we at the moment? We're in Medbay, right? You're in Medbay. So, what's a terminal in Medbay? That's terminal. Twelve. Twelve. So you get you get the MGL. It might be it might be in information storage. Oh yeah. Um, In fact, that's probably the first place to look for logs for those type of logs, maybe, if, unless unless you're on the main computer itself. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're here. I may as well log in and see. All right. You gonna try and log in? Bow. Access denied. Okay. So you hack your way in. Yep. 
Uh, display info. Okay. Um, actually, it's a pretty good role. Um, look, um, it appears that the information, the communication came from the shuttle, right? But with a little bit of digging, it's actually um, the communication from um, the whatever his name was, I can't think, the guy who fled, appears to have been computer generated on the ship and made to look like it was coming from the shuttle. Uh oh. See, Babu, you are a good psychologist. You just weren't talking to a, an organic life form when trying to. Con <laughs> when trying to <laughs> Um, okay, cool. I'll pass this info on. So that guy died. That's the remains we found. It would appear so. Well, we know. Check the com. Check the com logs for when Frosty ra uh, radioed from Snowball. See if that was authentic or not. Because if that was where she last called in from and the lift hasn't been used since us, then that means she's still up there. That's Somebody's point. heavy breathing. That's Matt. Probably me, sorry. Sorry, I was on mute. Um, uh, no, that, uh, that, now that you know what to look for, that call came from the money spider and was made to appear to come from Snowball. Yep, okay. Does this mean that our killer robot is probably listening to us right now? If she's that much in the in the communication systems? Probably. She probably knows that we know now. This is probably bad. <laughs> well, she still <laughs> has a physical form, right? She still has her cyborg body. She's just interconnected to all the ship systems, but wouldn't yeah. her cyborg body be her command and control unit? Yeah, I just assume that she could, if she's that into the system and can fake communications like that, I mean, are there, are there like comms devices around and surveillance devices around every room? Oh, yeah. Okay, so she can, she can see us. Okay. Well, maybe you can hack her better than she can hack the computer? I don't know. Well, it wouldn't be Kat doing that. It'd be you because you're the robots expert. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, can you beat a level six computer that's supposed to be smarter than people? Well, not necessarily smarter than people, but... More efficient at doing what it does. More efficient, yeah. But the next question is, why is he, why, if, if it is her, if, she, if this is the case, why is she trying to kill everybody? Because she got infected by the, the virus, whatever the virus is. Mm. So anyway, you are, as I said, you are all in the thing. Um, Thomas, do you want to quick catch up what's been happening or you're right? It sounds like you found out that Frosty is some kind of... Um, AI Terminator machine? <laughs> yep. <laughs> if you like. If you like, yeah. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, they, uh, they, yeah, um, they, yeah, they were going, you'll see this when you watch the video, but they were going deck by deck, clearing the deck out, and they were down on deck three, deck four, um, about to uh, uh, play around uh, uh, with some stuff, and um, the engine maintenance robot carrying two control rods from the engines came out and radiated everybody. Oh. And then you shot me in the back for 50 points. And, oh, shot awesome. Bab and, and shot Babu with a sword for something like 40 points, I think. 30, yeah. So you 30. shot both... You 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 are not making friends with the Dralocytes tonight. <laughs> Why does a bunch of crew keep uh, Jazz around? Hey, what was that? Why does a bunch of crew keep Jazz around? Because when you do manage to hit, to hit it's quite effective. <laughs> well, okay. he did manage right. to hit, and it was quite effective. Yeah, effective. yeah exactly. 
So, um, so we all got irradiated? You all got irradiated, and you're actually all in the sick bay, which is uh, deck 5M13, where um, the doc's been treating everybody uh, for radiation sickness and healing everybody. Um, and Kat and Cerise and Ellen have been poring over this captain's uh, computer slash robot menu. Um, um, to I think speaking of the new, speaking of that, um, where's the robots? Um, I have my gun Mr. trained Q at the door. <laughs> um, the man Cerise, the manual says uh, that uh, the security bot is a level four is a is a level four bot. Uh, with security lock, attack, and defense. Um, and uh, is um, armed with, um, typically armed with a laser rifle, an electro stunner, 10 dose grenades, 10 tangler grenades. And has a, uh, has a backpack for the rifle and the stunner, normally. Laser rifle? Uh, yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's also, uh, it also mentions in the manual, Cerise. I'm listening. Sorry, yeah. Um, the skin, it's, uh, it's metallic skin electrified uh, in the same way a stun stick is. Oh, okay. So we can't, uh, of the security robot. That's the security robot, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we can't grab it. Well, you can, but you're going to take a stun stick hit, hit if you do. Yep. Uh, and if you've got the defences against the stun stick, they should work as well. Like an anti shock implant, for example, or a gauze screen. Okay. Um, uh, so the anti shock implant renders it harmless. Well, from the stun from the stun effect, yeah. You still take it's like a, maybe a D10 or something. Oh yeah. the, well, maybe maybe not. Um, the yeah. gorilla, the, rec the recreation bot. Is a level four, um, level four um, bot normally with security lock and self defense. Didn't we trash that okay. one? You may have done. Uh, the maintenance bot, which you did trash, was a level three. The engine in, engine maintenance bot was also a level three. Uh, there's also a level two um, ice cutter uh, up on Snowball, um, which is uh, designed to work in zero g. Um, and is a heavy duty bot, normally with a security lock program. Okay. Uh, and two, two, uh, two type two batteries, one for the body and one for the power torch to use to cut up the ice. Okay. But that's all the robots that are, and and. Um, uh, Barrelu, they're the only robot. They're the robots that are listed. Okay. Hmm. You're not talking, Dad. Uh, where? Sorry, yeah, wrong push to talk button. Yeah. So where are we all hanging out right now? You're all in M13 at the moment. The sick bay. And as I said, uh, Terminal 12 in the sick bay did not let Cat into the um, into the uh, computer, into the G MGL computer, like it should have done if it was clean. Yeah. Well, I think that's because Frosty is keeping us out. So I think we have to hunt down Frosty and. Well, is it, Frosty, it. is it Frosty keeping him out, or is it this other stuff? That's because it's the um, other stuff. Cat got it. Cat got into the MSM. MSM, okay. Mm. Yeah, Frosty's the one sending the robots after us, and doing and commanding them, but the not being able to log in is from the stuff. I think they're working together. Well, they're working together. She did. She put that on that somehow. But when Cat gets rid of the, wow, that's a bit. Well, so anyways, I think we need to work together to 
clear the ship and be ready for Frosty to come after us. Yeah, well, I think the next robot's going to be in the str in M14, so that's probably going to be the security one. So let's plan for that and go into M14 guns blazing. Shields up too. Yep. I'm, then I can uh, then I can uh, see if the all the bit computers in M15 uh, are infected or not. No, just give me. Give me 30 seconds, guys. Yep. I think, Jazz, we've taken out the one of the... I don't remember how many bots there were. Recreational bot, a main, I think two maintenance bots. I think the engineering bot and the maintenance bot we've taken out. Yeah, okay, we so took out... out three. Yeah, I think we trashed... We killed the uh, sparring robot because it was trying Sorry, to strangle somebody. So I had to get a co had to get a cold drink. So, so then there's a security bot left and an ice cutter bot. That's what I remember hearing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, left plus plus barrel or self. Right. All right. So what's the general plan? Um, you everyone uh, getting armed for bear and going after the security bot. Is that right? Yep. In M14. Yep. Okay. Yep. Where, is, where is the security bot? It's and the crew. There's the bot. Everybody put on gas masks so you don't get affected by its dose grenades. Good call. Very good call. Very good call. You bastard. <laughs> and Voke is going to have his solve away in... You know, he has in one of his five hands. How many limbs can you have? I can have eight. So I have two legs, a head, and five arms. And five limbs. Okay. Fair enough. So I can, I can carry some solve away for the tangler grenades. So I don't have to get yeah. it out. Fit the damage not to stun. I like that. <laughs> All right. So stun won't do much against a robot. Yeah, probably not. So who's going in first? Well, are I you think are you guys have... using sorry, are you guys using the marching order on the character sheet, which isn't there? Well, Babs normally goes in first. Um, maybe I don't know who's got ranged weapons, maybe two one person on each side of the ladder. I could throw in a tangler we could open it, I could throw in a tangler grenade. It should be big enough to get the whole room, right? Well, why you you can't you can drag those around yourselves, can't you? Where you want to put them? Drag what uh, around? Oh, oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Try that. I no? am, what no. are we trying to drag? Hang on. The uh, marching order. Just drag the oh. Uh, from the combat tracker onto the map. Yeah, I've already done that. It's already on the party sheet. And you're on 5 2 mm. map money spider? No, I'm on the party sheet. Oh. I don't think any of us are looking there. Well, someone is. They're trying to drag things around. Uh, but it looks like it's locked. It's, it looks like it's locked. And it's not. It's, why don't, I, wait, yeah. why don't you, you unlock it? That's all right. Where do you want things? Where do you, I'll do it. Where do you want things, guys? Who's, who's going in first? I'll tell you that's you, Babu. You should throw bad blue in yep. front. Um, Jazz can go right behind. Jazz will try to be shooting. Is that right so far? Blue. Is that right so far? What about Josh? Be, what? I think it's yeah, usually yeah. Cerise after Jazz. I'm last. Who's last? Who's you? Doc. You're yes. last? Oh, I'd okay. like to be. Well, if, you, if you look at the map, I probably have two people ready to go in, one person on each side of the ladder with ranged weapons to shoot in, and then Doc in the back. Well, yeah. Back door man, baby. What are you, look what are you looking at, um, Cerise? I'm looking at the map of Deck 5, 
we think the security robot's in M14, right? Yes, that's right. Have you got, so, have you, did, you, did you drag icons onto that, did you? No. No? No. That's right. I'm, I'm thinking I can't see any icons on it. That's why I thought I was going nuts. Don't mind me. Well, my... You don't. You guys don't want me shooting my rifle, so I'm gonna have to be up close. So and then melee. you go after Jazz. Well, and Jazz is gonna be shooting his rifle, so he should be by the ladder, right? Uh, you have to. Um, you should be able to right click and unlock token movement. No, I can't. That's something I'm looking. I'm doing. I'm trying that right now, and I can't. I can unlock. I can unlock the tokens or lock the tokens. But oh, I can move Vogue now. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I must have. I must have done something wrong. Try that. Sorry, guys. I thought I had. I, I don't know what went wrong. What, what happened then? So you can drag yourselves around if you like, as such. Does Jazz want to use ranged weapon? Have Vogue go second. Sure. Melee, melee, and then Jazz and I can be on each side of the ladder with range. The ladder weapons. or the door? Well, I don't think we can. I mean, we'll we'll move up, but if I look at the map on oh, deck I five, see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, you mean each, you don't mean each side of the ladder. You mean each side of the ladder shaft. Yeah, just so yeah, that on they each can. Side of the ladder shaft. Yeah, but, yeah, but when you said ladder, I thought you meant ladder, not ladder shaft. I was getting confused. Oh, okay. Yeah, they'll have a limited firing angle in until the people by the door move in to melee or what, whatever. Yeah. So is that basically the, the, what you want to do, more or less? Yeah, so I think it's Babu okay. and I are going in first with yeah, melee. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, all good. All good. As long as I know what's going on. Okay. So, give me a split second. And Cat can make sure that Barry Lou doesn't come from M12 or. I think that's an airlock, or... just so you know. That's an M12. An M12 is an airlock. Yeah. Well, just make well, sure she could... doesn't come through. Yes, yeah, she could come from that. I mean, if if she if she's able to survive vacuum, there's no reason why she couldn't climb up the outside of the ship and you know get you that way. Um. So yeah. Okay. So, um, the door into M14 uh, is reading standard pressure, standard temperature, 20 degrees, standard oxygen and one gravity, okay? It does have a, a lock on it. Okay, so I think Cerise is gonna have to come up and unlock it. I can try it just so. Sure, you, you don't you have to. So what are you trying? You yeah, 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 try and uh, defeat security, are you? No, I did not do it, nope. Nope, you certainly didn't. Therese, you might have to. Did we just try opening the door? Is it actually locked? Oh, you know, it, it, well, the, pen, the lock says it's locked. Well, I know, I mean, but just press it open. <laughs> is that what you're doing, guys? Pressing it open? Yeah, yeah Voke will press it open, and Therese will stay no, where it he it is. Does, it, it, does, it does not open, and the little red lock icon on the lock flashes. Okay, I think... Well, why don't our doors open locks? Yes, you mentioned the 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 uh, it goes from red to it goes from a red icon to a green icon. I take it three uh, where's steps. The, where's the captain at the moment? Dead. Uh, um, Ellen. Or the acting captain? Yeah. Yeah, Ellen's. Um, she's well, she's a non-combatant, so she's back with Doc basically. So, so she is with us, but just... Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm holding her hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll step back. Uh-huh. And let Voke open the door. Stick with me, babe. You'll be safe. Yep. And Voke opens it. Uh, yeah, okay, that's right. So you open the door? Yep. Oh, God, I hate, oh, I'm going to have to do something about this next time I go. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. Thanks for asking. Okay. Um, you better give me initiative rolls, guys. What? You mean there's actually a robot on the other side? Yes. Now you can you can, if people act before you can, you can actually hold your action until someone else goes if you want um, to let other people move in first, shall we say? But at the moment, Blake's got an eleven. Doc's got a nine. Doc, 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 Doc's got a nine. I better. Put Ellen in, because uh, we'll probably need her. I'll mark her as neutral only because I want to keep her colour different when I'm running through the combat track and myself, okay guys? That's the only reason. Cool. 16 for Jazz, 12 for Babu. No, you Babs, there you are. 12. Um, Cat's on a 14. Um, Cerise is on an 11. Oops, sorry. Uh, you know, she's no, she basically believes you now. She's seen enough strange traps to, uh, to, to, um, to, to, to worry about it, to be, you know, worried about it, shall we say? Actually, I can get rid of that one. Yeah, Hook scolded her for. She was like, wow, that was random when a robot brought two control rods that are full of radiation <laughs> right into the room with all of us. Yeah. All right. So, let me just... I've got to roll for the robot. Sorry. Hang on one sec. Wow, um, that was random. Yeah, no... <laughs> no, no, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. No kidding. Um... Okay, let's kick this off. Jazz, you are up first. There is a bot. The bot's um, standing roughly in the middle of the room, so let's call it six or so metres away, maybe a bit more. Six to eight sure. metres, something like that. Certainly um, under ten. Sure. Um, folks, just go to careful aim and shoot. Okay. Uh, there's, a desk and a, there's a desk in here and some filing cabinets and a, um, a, a, an armoury cabinet, you know, things like that. Um, typically, I think armory cabinet, here. as in like armory, might be full of explosive stuff. Possibly. Ah, well, <laughs> Jazz gonna shoot anyways. <laughs> um, so I, I don't have the modifier, so I'm just gonna roll it. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I think maybe. What, 20? Ten, twenty. Yeah, she's fine. That's that's a hit. I hope you're keeping track of energy usage. Yeah. Uh, so, 14 points. Uh, down from... Hang on. Down from... Down from, down from, down from, down from, down from... It's a standard robot. Yeah, it's a standard robot. Yeah. Does anyone happen to remember if the actual center uses two SCU or one SCU per shell? Two. Probably two. Okay. two. Most things are generally two. Um, I might be yeah, just the, the disruptors four, isn't it? I think from memory. Um, yeah, well, the disruptors like really high power blast, depending on range. Yeah, and that's it for Jess. Oh wow! Ah, that's what it is. Hang on. <sighs> Sorry. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Ah. God, I'm, a f I'm a fumble fingers today. I really am. It's all good. You failed your uh, saving throw. Hey? Yeah, I, I keep failing my saving throw. Exactly. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, wow, you got us free. <laughs> Buy physical silver before there isn't any more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, just getting myself all organized. Um, now, what was that? What, what, what was that with? What did you shoot it with? What did you shoot the robot with? Uh, electro, sorry, electric, electric damage. Electrical damage, gore screen damage, or yeah, screen. Yeah, okay. Um, what did I do with that? There it is. And that's what I want there. That was a good call. What was a good call? A retro stunner. Oh, yeah. It's uh, Jazz's backup weapon when things are resistant to lasers. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, so, uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so the robot, um, the robot, uh, you hit the robot, it seems to take some damage, um, which means it's a cat scope. All right. So, the door is there. Whereabouts is it? Uh, roughly the bottom, of, uh, roughly under the four, the number 14, give or take. Okay, so. Just underneath the, four, the base of the 14, in N14. So all the people that are silly enough to engage in melee with it can do so? Oh, yeah, if they wanted to. Do you want to hold your action or do you want to move forward? Because you've got... People in the doorway still remember. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold my action until the their door is clear, but then aim to move in. Uh, that would be what after Voke. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, it. Uh, Voke or Babu. Yeah, since we're both there. Yeah, but yeah, you're you're so you're the slowest, so I'm yeah. gonna say after I'm gonna yeah. say after Voke. Yeah, I'll go at ten. Mm. Cool. Babu. Die. What are you doing? Am I able to get to this? Robot? Yeah, it's only four. It's, it's only four or five meters away. Yeah. You. Okay. Then. Uh, I will yeah, step no. up and attack it. Yes. Go for your life. Go for your life. Okay, it's a hit, and you do some damage to it. Okay, Cerise and Voke both going at the same time. Cerise, fir uh, Cerise first, or do you want to do a? Might be better if we do Voke first, Cerise. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm Vote? gonna go engage it, and I'm gonna try to go to the side of it a bit. Okay. Well, so you won't I'm... get a flank. That you, you won't get a flank this round, but you can certainly maneuver for one next round. Well, just to get out of the way, so of that fire. the shooters for line of fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh, sure. Let me get you the attack. I miss. You miss. Uh, so, Cerise? Um, do I have to, is, Babu is in melee with it, right? Babu and Voke are both in melee. Babu's okay. technically in line, well, I mean, you, everyone can technically in line of fire, because melee, you, you know, you move around people yeah. and maneuver and all sorts of things, so, yeah. So, I will switch to my force axe and move into the opposite side of Voke. I don't think I'll get an attack this turn. Uh, no, not if you're going to not if you're going to maneuver exactly like that. No, um, uh, that folks. You go, cat. Whoops, cat. Sorry, I, I did that was me. I hit that cat. Uh, right. the, do the the doorway's clear, more or less clear. I mean, Jazz is still technically there at the doorway, but he's not stopping anyone moving through or stopping line of fire. If you've yep. got line of sight. Yep. 
Cool. Well, I'll if I can get in there and take a swing with my sonic sword. You also, can if you you can if you wish. Let's do it. Yep, it's a hit. Okay. Uh, no, that's not right. <laughs> Sorry. That's right. Okay. Um, Doc? I'll turn to the captain, smile slightly, and say, we're professionals. Let us take care of this. Right. Uh, just as you say that, uh, the robot itself um, 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 shoots. It's going to shoot at um, Voke. Sorry, mate. Nah, it's okay. This time I have my screen up. <laughs> Uh, hits you, um, and um, what's it shooting? Uh, laser rifle. Laser rifle and melee. Right? Yeah, I took the penalty. Don't worry. You can use a right. You can use a rifle in melee. It's just a, there's a penalty on it. Right. Right. Okay. Um, uh, does 109 points of damage. That's not fair. Uh, so that's going to completely drain my backpack. 109, you say? Yeah, it's five points per, it's five points. Wait, is that going to, it's one no, SU it's not per five completely points. drain it, no. 20, 22 points, 22 SEU. It's going to drain off your backpack. Yeah. Okay, so, yes? Yeah. I okay, had in my mind, fine. it was like, I don't know what, what it was. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, Doc, could you just come to the private room for me real quick, please? User left your channel. User left your channel. Uh oh. Well, then it turns out to be a bot and don't turn on us as well. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Sapphire Worm Agent. <laughs> yeah, Sapphire. Yep, there Agent you better. go. Oh, she's going to sh throw Doc out the airlock. <laughs> Bye, Doc. <laughs> User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Um, so, um, let me do this first. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, Doc is going out the airlock then? No. Why would a doc go out the airlock? I mean, unless he wants to commit suicide. That's right. Well, no, because Alan's well, because a Sapphire Alan's agent. Alan's a Sapphire agent. <laughs> yeah, we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sapphire agent. <laughs> oh, God. Guys, yeah, who came up? No, don't, I don't need to know who came up with it. I can guess who came up with that ridiculous idea. Hey. hey, it was it was two part, you know, like right? father, like son. Okay. Yeah, I rest. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. I rest my case, my lad. Um, hang on. And right, okay. So, um, oh, it's gonna really hurt. Shit. You saw the dice roll, did you? Yeah, that was what? Yeah, 15 or 20? 20. 20. Saw 20. Shadows. Stop rolling. I'm about to stop rolling. Um, Jazz? Mm, Matt? Can you come to the private room, please? <laughs> okay. As soon as, I, as soon as I find the private room myself, there, Ed. User left your channel. User left your channel. 
This is intriguing. All I can say is, oh shit. Oh yeah. I think Frosty showed up. Yeah. If Frosty showed up, everyone's got to go. We'll shut the door, get out of melee, and kill Frosty. Hey, Doc. Um, can you pop over to the room with Matt? User left your channel. Frosty's well, far <laughs> greater importance than this robot, and we can't fight both at once. You want to be an M11 or M14? M M M what? M eleven. We have all our gear, right? Yeah. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Um, can I get vote? And Sharice and Kat, can I get you all, all of you to give me a quick spot check, please? Or the equivalent thereof. Okay. Can I have. And can I get one of you two, Bab, please, Bab? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought it happened. Can I have uh, can I have, <laughs> can I have can I have Voke and Cat uh, can I have Voke and Cat over to private room, please? User left your channel. Channel switched. User joined I, your channel. I hate it when you do that because right as you right as I clicked on the room, you moved into the room and therefore I clicked on you, Cat. <laughs> yep. Um both of you hear um the crack of a sonic weapon. Right? And both of you see uh, Jazz uh, slump to the floor out of the corner of your eyes. Oof. Okay, oh so let's go, let's go back to the main game room. Channel User switch. joined your channel. User joined your channel. And don't thank anyone else is what I was about to say until we get a chance to get things sorted. Um, so um, that's the end of the round. Um, What's going on? Um, can you guys, um, can you uh, guys give me your initiative rolls, please? Those who are eligible. Who's not eligible? Oh, uh, no. Just <laughs> they know who they are. Thank you, Kat. Uh, Babu, I'm waiting on you. Well, you said they knew who they were eligible. I didn't know I was eligible. That, yeah, those who, those, who, those who knew they weren't eligible, you. And 11 for Babu. All right, I need to do the bot. Same as okay, um, so let's kick this off. Uh, Cerise, you you're up. You're in. You uh, can have a go at this robot if you wish. Yep. Sorry. Um, no, it's still up. Does Force Sats damage seem to do full damage? Not really. Oh, okay. Although it'd be unusual if it wasn't. Um, so um, uh, the bot's shooting at Babu. 
kids better do. With a 20 SE shot. Don't you love it when they do a lot of damage? Uh, 68 points of damage, mate. Okay, laser. Yeah, laser. So a beetle screen would take it all out, just 5 SU. Uh, no, 14 SU. SU. 5, five uh, damage points per SU. 1 yeah. per 5 damage. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's it, 14. So that was the bot. Uh, Babu, you are up, as is Cat. You're both going simultaneously, so let's do Babu first. I'm swinging. Uh huh. That's a hit. Okay. And what are you about, you cat? What are you doing? You're swinging as well, are you? Okay. Well, that's a hit. Okay. So the bot does go down. All right. Um, as it goes down, um, some sort of booby trap goes off, um, and um, the four of you are covered in um, tangle, tangle grenade threads. Oh, wow. Who could have seen this coming? Um, so, that's you, Cat. Doc, what are you doing? What's it mean? Uh, we all know what I'm that means. Down. Are you? Oh, I thought you were still up. That's okay. Um, right. Okay. Um, vote, you've got an action. I use my solve a way to get out, and I shout, Jazz is down. Something all behind right. us. Okay. Jazz is down is all you can get out, mate. Seriously. Couple of words, not full. A uh, couple of words, not full paragraphs. All right. <laughs> um, can I? Uh, can I? Um, uh, the four of you in that room. The four of you in tangle grenades. Can I get you to give me spot checks again, please? Whoops! Just take the first one. Yeah. Which failed. Um, why two? Oh, sorry. The first one. The first one. And I Babs? Yeah. Old, yeah. yeah, Babs? What's that now? Search again? Well, sp a spot check, yeah, same thing. Right. Um, Everyone okay. but me. Everyone but you. Can I get the three of you who make, who, who, can I get you over to the private room, please? User left your channel. User should have just, channel. should have just kicked Boke out. Yeah. I mean, you Both. two are both Literally lying like on the ground. <laughs> Both go sit in the corner. You're not allowed to hear this. Man, it's going to be a pain in the butt to explain to somebody how we killed all the crew, why all the crew's dead. Uh, it's going to be a real shame. Well, assuming we survive. Well, assuming know, we survive. Cover <laughs> User joined your channel. User joined your channel. User joined, User channel. joined your channel. So you're, you're down, are you, Doc? I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, great. Okay, can I get an issue yourself, everybody, please? Who's still awake? It doesn't include the robot. Take him out of the system so you can't see. So six for Cerise. Cerise, 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 Cerise. Six for Cerise. And 14 for Boke. And 11 for Babu. And nine for Cat. Uh, and... And I'll put her on the screen because she's there now. There. Okay. 
So, Vic, you've got first action. Uh, let's see how much salt we I used one vial. Yeah. And I have one more. I will get. I'll get Babu out. Okay, that's your action? Yep. All right, well, Babu, you won't be able to do anything until the end of the round. Okay? Unless you, uh, I mean, you won't be able to make it, you won't be able to move to the end of the round. Do you want to do anything? Can't reach anybody, can I? Mm, no. Uh, um, if you've got your own, if you've got your own, inventory. I think if you've got your own solve away, you could probably get somebody else out. So that's short. It's almost no. Is it point blank range or is it short range? I think yeah, it's only short don't range. Don't have any. Okay. So do you want to do anything in particular? No. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see how we go with this. Uh, how much does it do, by the way? Sorry. Uh, oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. Uh, but a bit of a... Oh, 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 oh. I've made a major boo-boo. Fuck, we're alive. And possibly. It doesn't do now, 20 D10. That... Well, here's the thing. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> that was my fault. I looked at Sonic Devastator, not Sonic Disruptor. The Sonic Devastator does that much damage. My fault. Ret retcon, retcon, retcon. <laughs> sorry about that, boys. <clears throat> Let's do this again. Um. Doc? Yes? Sorry, you, are, you only take 31 points. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jazz, you only take 41 points. All right. Does that put you back up? Yep. So that means the last round we actually could have acted as well. Yeah, you could have, and I'll, and I'll, I'll do that for you in a second. Give me a tick. Sure. Um, uh, and I need that how much that takes. Okay, so um, j um, Jazz and Doc, you've got an action from last round. And uh, at this stage, in this, in this, at this stage in this retcon, she's still over by the um, by the airlock. Who's she? Baraloo. Uh, okay. I did not see Baraloo. I don't think Poison any of those. Well, channels. you would have seen it. You would have seen it now because you're still up. <laughs> right. So the so Baraloo's over by the air, uh, uh, M12. Is that what? Yeah, it is? the M12 airlock. Yeah. All right. So sorry Jazz going to yell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No worries. Jazz going to yell. Terminator AI robot Baraloo, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's way too much, dude. Seriously, a, a word or two, not complete sentences. Uh, so you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna you're gonna fire at her, are you? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just yell Baraloo and then fire yeah, yeah. towards her. Um, yep. So I've got the metro center in hand. Uh, hold on, let me pull up the the dice roll. Um, this is gonna be. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember. For the Metro Center, was there multiple attacks per round, or was it just one? Um, fire rate for a Metro Center, hang on. I think it's only one from memory. It's one of the ones that... If it's one, then I'll careful aim. If it's more than one, then I'll just fire normally without careful aim. Right. Uh, um... Where is it? I had it a second ago. So here's the first roll, regardless. Yeah. I can I can add the careful aim in if I need to. You don't need to. <laughs> right. uh, well, if it's a second, if there's a second roll, if there's yeah, that was that. Hang on. Ah, the 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 the
Yep. Okay. Um, now, Tony one looks like. Okay. So I'll go find out what's up lane. Oh, not being in careful lane. Yeah. No. That wouldn't be. No, it increases the increases the to hit doesn't increase the damage. Right. That so nineteen. Yeah. Hey, that is the damage. Nineteen points. Hang on a sec. Um, that was with what an electro stunner. As damage, yes. Electric, uh, electric damage, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So she takes that's um, nineteen. So that's uh, right. And then um, Jazz will attempt to go berserk. Uh, so, yeah, if you want. See if it happens this time. No, nah. no. Nah. Okay, uh, Doc, you've got an you've got an action up your sleeve. From this yeah. Piece. So seeing through the, the the searing pain, he's turning his attention to Ellen. Is she down, dead? What? No, so but she's I'm, hurt. She's yeah, damaged, so I'm like you guys. But she's going quiet. to render, going to render her assistance to uh, Ellen. So first aid on Ellen. Yes, please. Okay. Combat medics gotta love them. Well, she gets ten points back. Okay, so um, now you guys, did I, I haven't done, no, she's about, to, she's about to attack you, and I didn't, I stopped it in time. So she... Um, she's probably going to take out Jazz now. Yeah, she's aiming, he's definitely aiming at Jazz. So let's do Jazz again. Um, and she's actually, um, the, the disruptor is actually part of her anatomy. It's actually part of her arm. Her wrist is bent down and the barrel's coming out of out of a forearm oh it's the disruptor yeah the disruptor uh, the damage goes down by range on that one right That's yes i know i okay. do That's realize right. that um she uh, she also that was in her right arm she also points her finger at you in a gun-like manner on her left hand <laughs> as well so with the right arm she shoots you with a sonic disruptor and misses which pisses me off um, but the laser pistol uh, gets you for 71 points of laser damage. All right. Um, yeah. Um, so back to this, um, back to what's happening. You guys actually don't know. All you can see is that uh, um, uh, uh, Jazz has streamed out Baralu and he's firing back outside the room somewhere. Well, so, we would yeah. have heard the sonic crackle, right? Yeah, you did. Cat, you're up. Uh, yeah, I have you got any salt? Have, you have any salt away? I don't think I do. Which is silly. I think Suri's the only one paranoid to carry any. It wasn't, and, it wasn't Suri. and apparently... <laughs> Yeah, I don't. But I can do a strength check, right? Um. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe normally not. you can. Yeah, normally you could do, but it's more than one tentacle grenade that's gone off. It's ten. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's more than one. Gotcha. So, I don't think you. I don't. I don't think you're going to be strong enough. Is what no. I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. Okay. So you can hold your action, of course, and if, if see if Cerise can do anything for you. Yeah, so Cerise is going to use Solve Away on herself. Okay, cool. Jazz? Um, Jazz? Jazz will return fire. Um, actually, how long would it take if Jazz were to... Oh, let me ask this. When I look at Baraloo, do I see the shimmery field of the albedo screen? Yes, you do! Mm, okay. Um... So Jazz wants to just uh, drop the stunner uh, and then charge her with the sonic sword. Uh, no, you, 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 you couldn't attack. Wouldn't be able to attack. All right, that's no. fine. So I'll just um, drop stunner, go in, and just go right up to her. So yep. with okay, just in her face. And yeah, try to, face. Can yeah. he still try to dodge? Oh, yeah. yeah. He always do that. Dodging manner. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured that. Sure. Um, what about you, Doc? Now, you've already done first aid on oh, Ellen. Jazz will also yell, Baby! while he's charging. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling Hurt? pretty down myself, so I'm going to stab, stab myself in the eye. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, you get yourself you get yourself ten points back. All right, round three, round four. Um, if you guys could give me initiatives for round four, please. Okay. A one. Fantastic self. Cerise uh, is on eight. Jazz is on twelve. Jazz, 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 jazz is on twelve. Uh, Doc's on 16. Well done, Doc. Doc's on 16. Babu's on 13. Uh, and Cat's on 13. Although Cat might have to hold her action, I think. Oops. 13. All right, let's. Oh, hang on. Um, and I better do Barrelo. Oh, that's piss poor. Right. Doc, do you want to hold okay, well, or you want to do some? I heard a yelp for help. Yeah, as, 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 as the monkey rushed past you. All right, well, I'm, I'm following the monkey. All right, give me a roll then if you're first aiding him. Yeah, it could be a problem. Bit of a problem. Yeah, you get ten points back, Jazz, from the first aid. Yay! Babu. All right. You're free of the tangle grenades, Threads. All right. Let me put the robot down. Right. But the we robot, still have the Barra Blue. Yeah. Barra Blue. Yeah, Barra Blue. And can I see them? No, but you know which way. You know where she is. Well, you know they are. They're over by um, airlock, the airlock to M12, the M12 yeah, airlock, so because that's where everybody's right. rushing. Then I'll head that way. Okay. Um, you can see her. Um, uh, she's. Um, you can see the Jazz is just about to engage in melee with a sonic sword, I believe. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Um, and uh, Baraloo has her uh, has both um, ha um, arms pointing towards. Um, uh, jazz. One, her right arm hand is at a very unnatural angle, and there's a large barrel um, of, a, of a, a sonic disruptor pointing out of her forearm, where her hand would normally be. And her left hand is um, in the shape of a pistol, like, and she's shooting out of her out of her index finger. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's what's happening there. So are uh, you moving up to her, or? Yeah. Okay. That's what you do. You can't attack, but you can move up. Uh, Jazz, you're taking a swing, are you? Yep. Sonic Sword. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Doc's there doing, doing first aid on Jazz from behind. Oh, isn't Cat's initiative Two. 13, not 3? Sorry, Cat. That was a typo on my fault. Uh, it's Cat's go, not yours, Jazz. Uh, Kat, you're, 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 you can't do anything. You're trapped in, in thing at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'll, hold. I'll put you back at three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jazz, you're up. Uh, I think you're swinging I a miss. To, I tried to roll just now. I didn't appear on my screen. Did it? Did you guys see it? No, no. I didn't see it either. Huh. Must have rolled outside the chat box. That can happen sometimes. Yeah, maybe. All right, let me try again. Let's go, back. Well, it's a hit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a halfway decent roll. She looks about this a quarter is, uh, damage. Sonic damage. So, sorry, yeah. sonic damage. Yeah, she looks about a quarter damaged. Cerise, uh, like you're free is, now too. Cat is still in solve away? Tangra grenade threads, yes. Um, or, yeah, that's what I meant. And Cat's the only one stuck, right? Yes. Then I'll, I will solve a way, Cat. Okay. 
You, know, you won't be able to do anything. In the, in the, uh, you won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to move to the end of the round, Cat. Do you want to do anything in not does it involve movement? Moving? Uh, no, not particularly. Okay. So, throw grenades. <laughs> So Baraloo's firing at Jazz with her laser with her laser hand. She's saving up the other one for the, for uh, Babu. Uh, that's a hit through the door. That's a hit. Okay. Uh, laser damage. Fifty-four points of laser damage. Got it. I don't know how much SEU you've got left. 24 left on the belt. Mm -hmm. And she aims at Babu with the uh, Sonic Disruptor. Uh, which is at point blank range. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Uh, 36 points of damage, mate. Total sonic damage, right? Sonic, yeah, sonic damage. Uh, Voke, what are you doing? I'm going in. All right, well, that'll be the th that, that you'll be the third person in there, so you can do that. You again, you can move up and you can't attack this round. Yes? Yeah, yeah and dodge. Cool. Yeah, and dodge. Yeah, Cat, you uh, will be free at the end of the round, so you can't do anything at the moment. You, you didn't want to do anything? No. You said? No, it's no okay. okay. Initiatives in, please, people. For round five. No, not a one. Yeah, it's got to hurt. So, Vote got a seven. And Jazz got an eight. How come my one is so much worse than yours, Jazz? <laughs> <laughs> Reaction, <laughs> speed. Reaction speed. Three's got a five. Doc got a 13. Uh, Babu got a 10. Where's Babu? I lost you, Babu. Oh, yeah, front, front top. And Cat got a fifth. Cat, you can actually get a, actually get a go. Yeah. And get a go first, unless you want to hold. Uh, and that's another, that's only, uh, uh, that's what she's on. Okay, uh, so Cat, you're up. I wouldn't be able to get there and attack her, right? Well, no, for two reasons. One, you've got to move. And you, and you you can't you can do that and not attack obviously and two there's she's up she's in the or in the doorway of the of the uh, in effect of the um, airlock so only three people can be on her anyway and there's already three the two uh, um, the two dralocytes and the um, Uzerian. All right. Well, I will move up to where the ladder shaft. Yep. Take a bit of cover and wait for somebody to fall down so I can stupidly <laughs> take their place. Okay. If you wanted to do that, you can do that. Um, uh, Ellen scrambles in behind the ladder shaft as well, out of the, out of the line of fire of everything. Uh, Doc. Yeah, well. Um, are you going to retreat, or are you going to stay there and potentially get attacked? I'll stay there and potentially get attacked. Okay. You're going to hold your action, are you? Okay. Yes, please. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Babu. You may. Yeah, take I'm a able to attack, here. but we have too many people in there already. No, 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 no. You're one of the three. Ah, okay. Nice hit. No, a crit. It's a nice hit. Okay, another 17 points of damage. Uh, which would make it... Right. Um... Oh, hang on, I fired the disruptor again, haven't I? I'm going to take that damage off. That would be, un that would, the energy off, that would be unfortunate if I left that on. Okay, um, Jazz. Jazz moves again with his uh, sword. Okay. Ooh, almost. Well, that is a crit. No, it's not. Not with a sonic sword, it's not. Oops, that's what? the wrong roll. Uh, damage roll. Oh, it's oh. a crit, but it's not a knockout roll. Sorry. Yeah, it's not a one or a two. It's not a one or a two. And if it was a blunt weapon, it'd be uh, uh, on a zero as well. 34 points, eh? Okay. She looks about half damaged. 
says. Again, she shoots at you with the laser pistol. Uh, striking you. For 51 points of damage. So, 11. Okay. 11. Yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. uh, and she also shoots at Babu again with the Sonic Disruptor at point blank range. Hitting Babu. Doesn't like you, Babu. Have you noticed? <laughs> I'd noticed that, yeah. Uh, 60, 10. Uh, for 32 points of damage. Vote. Smack it. Smack it. Nice hit. Not great damage. 18 points. 18 points. Uh, just oh. for the record, Bapu is wounded. Yeah, funny that. Cerise, I believe you're up next. Yeah, so I can't get in there. I'm going to um, get, get close, but make sure I'm out of the line of fire and I've got cover. Basically, on the, on the other side of the um, the ladder shaft to um, to Cat, more or less, in other words. Yeah. So you're on the northern side. Cat's on the southern side, effectively. Yep. Sounds and, good. And Ellen's on the eastern side, out of the line of fire. Initiatives, please, people. Docks on a nine. Doc, 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 docks on a nine. Um, Cerise is on a five. Where are you? Cerise can't see you. Oh, you're on a five already. Jazz is on a ten. You needed more than that, Jazz. Have you noticed? Jazz yeah. is on a ten. Babu's on an eight. Cat's uh, on a thirteen. Okay, and Baraloo herself is on a seven. I can't roll very high for her. Cat, you're up. Do you want to hold, or do you want to, what do you want to do? Yeah, I'll, I'll hold. All right, I'll drop you down to three. Voke. Oh. That's a miss. Jazz. Jazz wins again. That's going to That's be a miss. Doc? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, seek cover. Okay, you're going to seek cover? No problem. Babu. Woohoo. Give it another swing. Swing, bada bada bada. Hit, you can hit hard. <laughs> 19 points. Just not getting the damage die. Yeah. Um, again, Baraloo is shooting with her laser pistol at <sighs> Jazz. Uh, um, hold on there for a minute. What's up? I've got seven uh, stamina. So yep. Would that still have hit? I didn't put negative modifiers in there. Yeah, wounded's only uh, 10. It's only 10, mate. So, yeah, that still would have hit. Okay. But thank you for being honest. Uh, so, Jazz, another... Yep, okay. Uh, 60 points of laser damage, Jazz. Okay. Jazz's silvery albedo screen sheen is noticeably dimmer. <laughs> it's still up though, is it? One SU. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Aralu has to stay alive long enough for another shot at you. Speaking about another shot at you, hey, um, um, Babu. Yep. You're in trouble. Yep. Twenty-five points of sonic damage. I 
At least that's enough to kill kill you. No, it's enough to put you on the floor, I believe. Nope. Yep, I'm on the floor. All right. Uh, Cat, you've got a held action. Excellent. Are I you reining in? Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to take a swing at her? Yeah, let's do it. She's got to die. What are you using? It's Sonic Sword. Good. That's a hit. Uh, 26 points of damage. Uh, okay, she, lo she looks about 75% hurt so far. Uh, nice. Cerise, Cerise was going to move in but can't because you moved in in front of her, so she can't do anything. Uh, that's you done. That's un and an issues, please. And then this roll will be for Cerise's initiative. Yeah, thanks, mate. Not that it's going to do her much good, but nah. do you know what her, you know what her mod it is? Plus, it's yeah, it is plus four. Good. I just scrolled up. Uh, excellent. Thank you, mate. Uh, so, Zoke's on a 12 as well. Jazz is on an 11. Doc's on a 14. You roll really well, Doc, but you, you got to, you know. Oh, um, you, you have seen Babu go to, fall to the floor, by the way, Doc. Cat's on a 10. Yeah, you are quick like that. Uh, Babu, I'm going to knock you out because you're not there. And Barreloo, Barreloo, Barreloo. Oh, finally, I rolled something decent. Who goes first? Uh, so, laser pistol at Jazz. That's a hit. How many SEU do you have left on your thing, Jazz? Just one. Just the one. And your current stamina is at 19, I see. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Therese gets a chance. <laughs> yeah, Therese gets a chance. Uh, 32 points of laser damage, mate. That puts you oh, at okay. negative 18. Uh, so the, the one ECU stops five of it, and then you've got to take the rest. Wait, no, it right. puts you at negative eight, because you have 19 and then five, so 24 and then 30. Yeah, you have eight. Negative eight. I'm glad you can do the math that quick. Um, okay. uh, and um, she changes her... Um, I'm going to take that laser pistol off because it's going to affect things. Um, she's going to be shooting at um, you, Zoke, with her sonic disruptor at point blank range. Good thing I got sonic headphones. I don't think it quite works that way. Aren't they the only thing that protects against sonic damage besides the shield? Not the headphones, mate. They'll protect your ears, but they won't protect you. Hang on, is that enough? No, I missed one. Hang on. Oh, you you should be so glad these don't explode. Uh, 40 points of sonic damage, mate. Ow. Uh, that's her. Doc, you are up. Uh, I believe you've got two, two people on the ground at the moment. Yeah, can I get to Babu? Mm-hmm. Okay. Certainly can. You, can't, you, you can get to him, but you can't do any first aid on him. Yeah, well, cool. that's my intent. Okay, cool. Cerise, um, you've got a space. Oh, you're not here, are you, Cerise? Yeah, Cerise will just um, still wait. Oh, well, is there a space? Should, yeah. There is. Uh, there is well, a space. Uh, yeah, no, well, sort of not really. There's two bodies, Doc, and two fighters. Yeah. You know I don't what I mean? Know. No, not really. Um, not until someone gets uh, drags someone free at, at the earliest. I'll put her on hold, and she might get back in time. Um, Voke, at the same time as Cerise um, uh, is deciding what to do. That's a hit. Die. Nope, still up. <sighs> Jazz is down. Sorry, Jazz. Thirty six sonic cat sword is. damage. God damn it. So close. Uh, it's a miss, Cat. Yep. Uh, Cerise can't move in, so that's the end of the round. Initiatives, please. 
Nope, nope, not me. Not cat. Vokes on, a, Vokes on a seven. Doc's on a 12. Cat's on a seven. Um, Cerise, I've got to wait for, so I'll just leave her out be sitting there for the moment. Ba 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 Barra lose on a... Oh, good, another good roll. Um, oh, it doesn't change. Um, come on, computer. So, um, assuming Cerise will be back in a second. Uh, Baraloo, again, um, aims her laser. Now, you've, you've all got um, screens, haven't you? Albedo screens. Yep. Yep. Mm. You're going to shoot yourself? Well, she's going to shoot you with the Sonic Disruptor. I'll tell you that now. So let me hey, do, let me hey, do that. hey, no need to be violent here. <laughs> he says swinging a sword at, sword at, the, at the woman. Well, the robot woman. Okay, and... Uh, 36 points, mate. I'll tell you there's an opening now. <laughs> you just went down, did you? Yeah. Oops, this is getting dangerous, isn't it? Um... Okay, let me see if I can get this. Let's see, let's see if she can pull this off. Yes, she can. Oh, yeah. um, this will that? be Cerise's initiative. No, I'll wait for her to come. Oh, okay. I'll wait for, oh, oh, no, you're right. It's, it's going to be a while. There you go. Um, she she scoops up a, 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 a scoops a vibro knife out of her belt, um, cat, and swings at you with it. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, what does a vibro knife do again? I've forgotten. I think it's 3D10. I think it is too, but let me just confirm that. I've got it here somewhere. Vibro knife, vibro knife, vibro knife. 2D10. 2D10. Yeah, I thought it's, it's a sword that does that. And inertia defense. Yeah, it's it's a knife yeah. that vibrates really quickly. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a electric it's a it's a um a, 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 a electric, electric carving knife. Uh, Twelve yeah. points of impact damage, cat. So if you've got okay. a skin suit, that'd help. Yeah. Um, Cerise, you're moving forward, are you? Yeah, so Cerise would take the spot and... I think... Hold on. Uh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. no, sorry. Again, there's too many bodies around. That's why she didn't move in last time. There's now three bodies, N Doc, N um, two fighters. No, there's one fighter. There's one fighter. There's still it's a lot of bodies, though. That's the problem. So I'll put her back on hold. Okay. If you can... But, I mean, so she could still drag a body out. Oh, she could do that if she wanted to do oh, that. Oh, then... Want to do that? Yeah, she'd probably make room for herself. All right, drag a body out of the way. Okay, fine. Doc, you are you, you are there. Uh, Jazz is basically with you. Are you going to try and do something there, or are you going to drag, drag him out of the way? Right, well, I, I've been attempting to administer first aid to Babu. Oh, Babu, was it? Sorry. So, you, okay, Babu, ten, 10 points to Babu then. If, oh, well, if you make your roll, which you do. So, 10 points back, Babu. I don't know if that's any good for you. Any good to you? No? Uh, nope. Cat? Nice one, Cat. This this will finish it. Uh, no, it doesn't. Sonic sword damage? That's, I know what I'm doing. But she's pretty close, right? Like that that's damaged. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She's heavily damaged. It just she's wasn't quite damaged. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um 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 I can't do the math in my head. Why can't I do the math in my head? That's what it is. Right. That's okay. Just making sure I've got myself up to date. <laughs> Um, end your turn, Cat. Cerise has dragged somebody out of the way. Who did you drag out of the way, Cerise? It wasn't Babu. Um, is there an opening? Well, if you drag somebody out of the way, you can. Are you dragging Jazz or are you dragging Voke out of the way? To make room for yourself. Oh, I'll drag Babu back. Right, Just well, no, not Babu. Jazz. Babu's fine. 
It's J it's Jez or votes. Bebu's under control. Oh, um, if I have a feeling one's worse, otherwise Jazz. Jazz, okay. Well, he's been down the longest, so you drag him back. Okay, so that's the end of the turn. Can I get an issue for Olsoff? The three of you are still up. <laughs> nice one, Doc. Therese is on a nine. Cat's on an 11. And Barrelu... Oh, now I'm rolling well. Barrelu... Uh, you're the only target, Cat, I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be fun. <laughs> uh, that's, his, that's the Sonic Disruptor hits you. Uh, for 37 points of sound damage. Okay. And she also swings at you with a vibro knife and gets you with that as well. Uh, for six points of impact damage. Doc, you've got Babu at your feet. Well, you're with Babu. Um, Voke is also there. Jazz has been dragged clear. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go aggro, and I'm trying to roll and take out her feet. Oh, okay. Yep, go for your life. It's a, a basically, it's a, a melee combat roll, effectively. Yeah, a, a melee base, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm picturing Doc just, like, doing the log when you're a kid rolling down a hill. Uh, I'm seriously impressed at that. Going for the okay. feet. Going for the feet. Let me just see. I've got to give her, I've got to give her a... Um, no, you take her out. She falls. She goes prone. Uh, give me a, just give me a second. Hang on. Give me a second. Uh, and does not land on you. <laughs> so, Kat, you've got a you've got a prone doc and a prone uh, voke and a prone barrelu uh, sidebot at your feet. Effectively, what do you want to do? Can I cut her head off execution style? Uh, that's a cold shot. No, <laughs> I'll just swing my sword. <laughs> okay, I just thought, yeah. Does that hit because she's prone? Yes, and you're lucky because it could have hit Doc otherwise. Um, damage, please, Cat. Oh, she's still alive. Well, still active. Oof. Hang on. But sparking badly. My sword's going to run out of juice if we're not careful. <laughs> Cerise, what you doing? Can I move in an attack now? Yeah, by all means. And she's prone, so there's a plus 10 to hit. Which you don't need. Uh, let me... No, it's not. It's a 16. Okay, now she's gone. So that's everybody, that's her dead, and the other bot dead. Um, what's, everybody, what's everybody on damage-wise? How? What's everybody's, what's everybody's current stamina? I'm on 17 of 60. I couldn't have taken another Devastator hit. <laughs> I'm at minus 8 of 75. Votes at minus 11. Therese, you're undamaged, I believe. Jazz is at minus nine. Therese, are you there? Hey. Yeah, I said full. Good oh, I didn't see it. Sorry, I missed it. Good thing we were right beside the med bay. <laughs> yeah, good thing you're right beside the med bay. We don't um, have to drag you far. Yeah. You better do... Okay, who who has had first aid this battle? I think it's only Babu at this stage. Is that right? Yeah. Babu and Ellen. Uh, and Ellen, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking, yeah, Babu and Ellen. Jeff, okay, so you better... Jeff got you, some, but then he got hurt again. No, that's okay. So, so if you want to do some first aid on Voke, I don't know if you need it yourself, possibly. Oh, no, you had it too. Did you got yourself done, didn't you, Doc? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So you, you need first aid on Voke, Cat, and Cerise, I believe, and Jazz. Is what I think Not you need Cerise. first aid. Hey, Not Cerise. No, sorry. Voke, Voke, Doc, Cat, and Jazz. Uh, Voke, Doc, Cat, and Jazz all are all eligible for first aid. Right. Okay, Voke's first. 
Okay. And cat. Okay. Ten points for folk. Ten points for cat. Then jazz. Ten points for jazz. And yourself. I already gave it to myself. Oh, you already gave it to yourself. Okay. So who needs minor and who needs major? You got ten points, that though. I think everybody's major. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone. I'm I, I'm thirty three down. Myself, Jazz, yeah. Yeah, everyone. Babu, yeah. Jazz, Cat, and Vogue need major. So and Doc, you? and Doc, and Ellen, and. <laughs> yeah. So you want to organize surgery, Doc? Yeah, sure. Well, j I'll just go straight across the top there. So Vogue's first. Okay, major on Vogue. Is that right? I do believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so five of us plus Alan. Okay, so you get uh, all your all your hit points back, Vogue. Next is Cat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, close, but you got him. Jazz. Uh, Jazz is on full. Cool. Cerise is it's already full. Right? Yeah, so there's only taken Sabu. And yourself, of course. And Ellen. So that's Babu, you're on full. You want to do okay, Ellen or Ellen. yourself next? Ellen. Yep. And I yourself. finally used to stick myself. Mm hmm Auto dock yourself. So that should be everybody on full. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. Yeah, those Sonic Devastators, Devastators are close range and nasty, aren't they? Disruptors, well, yeah. The yeah. Disruptors, Sonic yeah. Devastators, my God. Mm. The um, and the nice thing about it is, it was only it was, I was only using four SEU a shot, and getting six dice of damage out of it at, at, at point blank range. Uncouth. I want to loot the body. Um, yeah, at the risk of being thing, um, you're gonna have to get a robot expert to do that because you know, uh, the only thing she's got on her is um. Um, the uh, only thing she's got on her is um, the vibro knife. She's got a lot of my blood on her too. And all, well, a lot of everybody's blood on her. So yeah. Um, so what do you guys want to do? Because we were going after some computers in the uh, in the security room at one stage. Oh, and by the I way, you know you you know how you said Cat um, she might be listening in. Yeah, she was. <laughs> And tried to get you, and tried to get everybody caught in a crossfire, which sort of kind of worked. Are there any more robots? Uh, the ice cutter, I think, is still is still active. Yeah, the bear. It's up on the Baraloo was not one that was registered, right? No, she was. Oh, she was. Okay. Only in the captain's handbook. But only in the captain's computer handbook. Yeah, so then that just leaves the ice cutter and Frosty. That was Frosty. Oh, that was? Yeah, it's a name. Uh, Barrel oh, is a proper name. Right, 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 right. Frosty's a nickname. Frosty's a nickname. So, the ice cutter's And the ice probably. cutter's outside, okay. right? The ice cutter, well, the ice cutter's up uh, up on Snowball. Okay. But whether it's yeah. okay or not, it's not a question. Well, then, um... Do you want to do an do, you, do the robotic experts want to do an analysis on Barrelu or not? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Do you, Kat, do you want to do the computers? Yeah. Okay. Does anyone want to do anything else? I'm thanking my karma from our my knees. <laughs> I'm going to go <laughs> chill on the recovery ID. couch. Uh, repair is what I'm looking for. Um, thank you, Kat. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, for the diagnostic. Yeah, uh, no. You you can't see anything wrong with her. You don't know why she's gone haywire. Um, but you yeah. So um, unless somebody else with robotics wants to have a go. Nope. Well, I know why, but I don't have any evidence. Yeah. Anyone else got robotics? You you the only robotics? I thought there was two robotics. Yep. Seen this party. Only person with robotics. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um. So the door into M15, before I can give you that information, Cat, um, is locked. Ah, yeah. <laughs> What's the level uh, the of first, that works? Yeah, the first one. The first one works, and so actually, the first one doesn't. Yeah, the first one does work, but only just. 
the second one really works. Um, uh, it's a storeroom. Um, in addition to three panels, three cabinets with um, MF MLS, MGL, and MMM on the panel, on, written on the panel doors, um, there are uh, 10 of those um, chemical storage tanks against the, uh, against the southeast wall. GG. Good, in Iraq. Good move. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are five of, five of those chemi five of those tanks, okay, are labelled, and it's in the chat box, okay. So five are labelled that. Yep. Actually, that's not quite clear. I mistyped. Five are labelled that. That's what they're labelled. Uh, and two are labelled that. The other three aren't labelled at all and appear, according to the telltale, to be empty. Whereas the first seven are uh, t telltale say it's full. Okay. Do you want to do anything with the chemicals? Open them, for example? <laughs> Suck them in. No, not at this point. Aww. Maybe ask Ellen somehow. if she knows the difference. Yeah, two different types of... Well, um, Kat can tell the difference. They're two different types of chemical. <laughs> if she knows exactly what they are from, if they're just separated specific elements of the gas that they harvest, or if this is some kind of experimental... No, it's it's gas that they harvest. Okay. The CSDE, um, you know, is toxic, Cat. Yeah. The CYSD is toxic. The the uh, the meta TIs um, should be relatively harmless, although you wouldn't want to breathe it. But it's not toxic, toxic. You know what I mean? It's just not oxygen. And I so, assume yeah. those are the three computers there. Ah, uh, yeah, they are the three computers there. Um, so the first one, um has evidence of, in fact, all three of them. I mean, you spend about 10 hours doing this or more uh, going through it all, but all three um, have evidence of corruption, hardware corruption. Yeah. You want to clean them or? Yeah. Oh, there's another three rolls, one for each. Actually, to tell you the truth, you don't know about the uh, other one because you didn't roll high enough. So the MGL, you have no idea about because that what that roll wasn't high enough, mate. I just realised. Sorry. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no. But the other yeah. two, the other two are, are infected and are now clean. So the MLS and the MNN are both clean. Okay. As far so as we're aware. So do you want me? To, I've I've got some computer skill. Do you want me to double check any of your work? Sure. Yeah, you missed Probably. you missed some cat. The MGL is infected. You missed it. Whoops. You want to try and clean it, Sarif? I'll let K she can clean it better than I can, right? Yep. So I'll let her clean it. You want to have it? Yeah, thank you, cat. Yes. Okay, you've got it clean. So the MLS, the MGL, and the MMN are clean. As, yeah. as in, you know they're clean because you clean them. Um, the, the, what was the other one? The. SM is also uh, clean. Yeah, the SM is also, the SM is also clean. And, and we never found one of them anything wasn't on MT. And you didn't find anything on the MT computer. Is, is this one, were these ones particularly infected? Um, uh, not excessive not no 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 more than than the other one you cleaned up the other day the, the earlier okay i just wondered i was just wondering whether being stored with the chemicals um accelerated or made the, the there's no even there's yeah. no ev evidence of that there's no okay. evidence of that at all what about the mmt down on deck four well it, it, cat cat said there wasn't any there wasn't any corruption on it 
You might want to check that one. Yeah. And you might want to check the security. And you might want to check the security bot too. So this is the one on deck four. Yeah, it's it is dirty. Cat missed it again. And then there's the other one, which is the robot. Yeah, security robots. The security robot had some had some shit on it as well. Hmm. Do you want to clean the the MMT the maintenance maintenance computer on deck four? Yep, it's now clean as well. So what's not clean or not being checked is the question. Uh, what about Nothing. the MSM on deck two and the MTV on deck one or the M? I can't make out what that is up in room. No, that's three. a that's a ter that's a terminal, Matt. Yeah, all the ones we've, all five computers are now clean. Yeah, but there's more than yeah. five computers. All, no, there's, so uh, it, okay, if you're counting like Snowball, there might. I am. Yeah, so we want to probably oh, yeah, there check is. The, sh there the is. shuttle pods, and if, is there any way to bring back that one that went out? No, otherwise you would have done it to drag, to drag um, the guy who was in it back. Or the guy you thought was in it back. Well, then. now that we know that Baralu was controlling it remotely. Well, she's probably sent it off and then she fabricated the things from the ship. But the ship, it's been too long for the ship. It's been, it's been a couple of days at least. Yeah. All yeah. the start, all the fart assing around and resting and checking computers and checking robots and, okay. and things like that. So you want to check... The one that's here, we should check its computers... Sure. And, Did you want to check? Do you want to check the security bot? Oh, I told you that, didn't I? Sorry. Yeah. All right. So then, do you want to check? Then, yeah, go on. And then go down to Snowball and do those. Up to Snowball. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Well, down both. It's yeah, technically both. Um, did you uh, Did you want to check the Did you want to check the um, the shuttle computer out? Yeah, okay. we both should. Yeah, now it appears clean, both of you. It appears clean for both of you. And then there's the same computer. There's a EV one on deck one for them to check. That's not an EV. That's not a computer, mate. M slash EV? Yeah, elevator. So lift here. That little bit right there. Yeah, that, I know what you're talking about. It's not a computer. No? No, that's the lift. Oh. Lift shaft, lift. Okay. Then what's eleven? Is eleven a terminal or is eleven the lift? Yeah, eleven's eleven's a terminal. Terminal to eleven is a terminal. What? Oh, sorry, that is a computer there. My fault. Oh no, it's not it's just a terminal. The computer's up on Snowball. The terminal's down here. Oh, okay. Because it looks like there's the same little yeah, no, gray box yeah, no, that all the yeah, other. No, that's have. the lift. That's the lift. That's the lift. Okay. Um, they've so done some shady, yeah. So you should I what? think we, sh we should go in force to Snowball. Well, if we gotta fix the lift first. Oh, the lift right. isn't, doesn't, the lift is, doesn't need that much fixing. The lift wasn't damaged, effectively. I mean, it was scratched oh, up, but okay. it wasn't actually damaged, damaged. Just hurt you guys. Um, you guys managed to slow it down enough that it didn't do any damage to the shipper itself. So yeah. So what's the plan? You're going up to Snowball, are you? Yep. Yep. All right. Well, you've been going for a while now in terms of uh, physical activity. You probably want to crash out for the night. Also need to rearm. Uh, and you also need to rearm and recharge and all the rest of it. So yeah. are you guys going to go grab a feed and, and go to sleep for the night? Uh, in watches. Uh, in watches yeah. is fine. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, if you're going to do that, that's a good place to leave it till next fortnight because we've been going just on just under four hours. And we're um, going to watch okay, the bodies. <laughs> the destroyed robot bodies. We're going to keep them close and we're going to watch them. Fair enough. That's what you want to do. Is everybody okay if we leave it there for the for the um for the for the for the week? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Everybody enjoy themselves. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well. See, yeah, you did have a giant death robot. The robot actually gets to do any attacking, so. Yeah, no, that was good. It was a, it was a good thought, too. I, I mean, well done.
uh, in that regard. All right, well, if that's the case, um, I'll say thanks for playing, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody who's watching. Um, and we'll see you all in a fortnight's time. You can play those um, credits if you could, please, Ryan. That would be fantastic. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch. And, of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz. And on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.